What's happening, everybody? What's happening? Uh, you will grow to love Jared. Like, Bravo 419. We got a 1088 meal. Hang out, listen. So Jared, by the way, is running a little behind, which makes white a lot of sense. It's a fucking shit show outside. White male, no shirt, <sighs> I went outside. Requesting backup. Suspect is on the run. Play some I think I'm going to play the full AP today uh, while we wait for Jared. Uh, Jared's finally killing is an open gaping wound in my heart. I understand. But, you know, it took time to warm up to Kellen. Now you're going to warm to J Jared. We're going to start, by the way, we're going to throw into the deep in today. Jared is going to be playing his uh, playthrough of Dark Souls today. I don't think he knows that either, but that's what's going to happen. Okay. I'm going to sit back and just fucking hang. You know, I might even take a couple of goblin peeks. 
because fuck it. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome to Friday. It is a fucking shit show outside. I have to say, like, I'm used to craziness. I live in New York. I've been living in New York for years. I have a feeling this is going to be one of the worst winters we've ever had. If this is any indication, it's 16 degrees outside, but the wind is just, like, fucking popping through um, so hard, man. Uh, and it's just it's just miserable. I was listening to Gucci Gang on loop before this, so it's all uphill from here. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's just like, if Jared takes too much longer, I will either play Dark Souls 3 and try to fight that fucking boss again, which I really don't want to do because I hate that boss, and I'm just not, like, in tune with Dark Souls right now. I haven't played in a while. Or I might just play a little Injustice 2 um, to start off the day before uh, uh, we uh, get in there. Google Bear, what's happening? Ho, oh, how you doing? Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome to Friday. I have no friends with me yet. All my friends got snowed out. Jackie was supposed to be here today. She will be here for Jackie's Dating Sims, but remote from L.A. again because uh, this fucking storm just <laughs> fucked the bird on on every angle. So um, that's an issue, uh, uh, and we're 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 dealing with that. Oh, I think that might be uh, Jared right there. Hold on. Is the one. Saw my friend old Jimmy working out at the mall. I said, hey, old Jimmy, what you crying for? I said, a little girl thought she was gonna be my bride. Now I can't get her out of my mind. I said, hey, old Jimmy, don't you cry no more. Saw my friend old Jimmy sitting at the chair all day. that I haven't had a sound system on my computer for no reason. Like, this is not an expensive sound system. I don't know why I waited so long. The music is a little loud, yes, because I'm playing you guys the uh, EP. Sorry, but we'll catch we'll, we'll get We'll get into us is talking to you. Yeah. Congrats. This is it. Yeah, this is the last song in the EP. Let's just play it while we get while we get settled. You can eat um, coffee. I already have my cup. Yeah, I woke up this morning. Worst feeling in the world when it's so ass outside. And yeah, it's awful. It's so evil out there. It's fucking hot out there. It's a fucking nightmare. I had to crawl into a fucking goat's dinner to, to sleep the night out there. All these stories of hit things and falling down. Right. 
Oh, cardigan. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The little tiny. Perfect for a right after the nap. Yeah. better than, you know, hoofing it, man. I mean, it is just, we called off rehearsal last night. I stayed in fully yesterday. Um, are you working off today, technically? There you were, Okay. Gotcha. But it's all chill. I'm taking everybody's kind of clothes in. Um, yeah, but yeah, this is it. Yeah, she'll be here on Monday um, for the crafting stream. You were bad. Joseph Chad, thank you, Google Bear. So Dark Souls. Let's talk about it. Um, <laughs> right, I'm too excited about this. Let's just jump in now. I'm going to try not to give you too many hints or anything. No, but we might be soon because I think we put a poll out. Let me look at that poll right now, actually. Um, for Patreon, we put polls out for Patreon members of a certain tier. Um, maybe look at our fucking dashboard. I don't know. No, that's not it. All right, scroll in, scroll in. Okay, what's winning right now? Dark Souls is definitely in the lead against. Xbox versus PlayStation, Super Mario Bros., and Mortal Kombat. Dark Souls is in the lead right now. Um, so there you go. Uh, yeah, by by double the second place. So I think we will be getting a Dark Souls episode probably, like, in a week or two. All right, great. It'll yeah. It'll explain how to do all of it. It'll explain yeah, everything. Yeah, that's what it'll be. It'll be a very mechanic-heavy uh, uh, discussion. We'll, we'll get to Mario eventually, you know. Will this show up on my shit? Not yet. Show up. Commercial term burp. <laughs> really? Uh, Prepare to die edition. Go. I think I, what I need to do is actually exit out of this and restart it. Because nothing can just go right. Hype train, get ready for experience all the death. That's right, Jake Young is bored. Hey, Jake Young is bored. Friend Friday, everybody come in. It's Friday. Now, I should say, I'm not totally blind to this. I've played the first, I've beaten at least like the first two bosses, maybe. Did you? Like years ago when it came out. And okay. And I was crashing on my couch. Okay. Walked me through. Okay. So I'm not like completely. You're not totally completely, totally. Idiot face dummy. Super fucked. Yeah. Um, and we'll kind of talk about, that's good. Thanks for the host, you fucker. fucker. Thank you for the host, Red Pirate. Final Fantasy King 9, traveling to Holmes today, was a disaster. Yeah, just uh, night, just awful out there in, in every conceivable way. Uh, just so there. bad. Don't do it. Just so bad. <laughs> okay. In tropic area. Just stay inside. Whew. All right. New game. New game. Um, I think you can type the name. Who do you want to be? Lord fucker. Maybe you can't type the name. Here, click on the empty space up top. Okay. Okay, it's got to be Dark Souls Eve with the menu. Lord Fucker. Great, perfect. Perfect. Is it not doing anything? I have no power. Let me see. Losing. Yeah, let me see. Ugh. Yo, who in chat got one of them? Oh, wait. Okay, now we can do it. Uh, male or female? You just choose male. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at the screen. That'll be my first lesson. Yeah, yeah. This is cool. This is the best way to ease in. Is at least you get to sort of enjoy like the customization stuff opening. 
I would go with I would go to knight to uh, low ranking knight high HP solid armor. So knight. Oh, is it not working? Jake Young is screaming about my mattress. What brand did Jared say his mic is off? His mic is off. I hate everything. Deprived. Yeah, um, hold on. Let me fix. Let me fix. Yeah, I've had weird mic issues. I'm not really sure why. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. It should be super on. Oh, I... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Now your mic is on. Ah, I've been muted. Yes. He's been kneecapping me this whole time. All right. Now you should be super on. You don't even need it to be right up on you because I... Up um, the gain. Can everybody hear me? Am I loud or super quiet? So good. Okay, cool. I, I figured it out. My bad. It was off in OBS. We're good now. Uh, so, Jake, what I was saying is that Helix is my brand of mattress, and it's one of those internet foam things, and it's dope. Nice. What do I have? I need to I need to tell you what, what Lexi has, a.k.a. what I have, because I love our mattress, and I didn't realize how much I love our mattress until I traveled and slept on a 16-year-old girl's bed, and then my, like, p even my parents' like guest room bed um, uh, is, like, not nowhere near as good. And you know what it is? It's a mattress that two people can sleep on, and when one person rolls over, it does not, like, immediately affect the other person's slumber. That's good. That's the difference, man. Like, holy shit. One of shit. those Tempur-Pedic things. Because, like, the girl's bed that we Where slept on. you can put a glass on, of wine on it. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, Lex and I slept in, on uh, her niece's bed. Man, just any movement would send a fucking ripple through space and time to the other person's yep. dreams. It would it would show up in their dreams as like a witch. And be like, wake up, wake up. It's fucking awful. So yeah, we can go warrior. Warrior? Okay. Because yeah. wanderer is my aesthetic for life. But <laughs> Yeah, let's go let's go, warrior. My gift shall be Your gift should definitely be the master key. Always the master key. Opens any basic gap. Yeah, uh, why would you look at anything else? You would only maybe get like I think the old witch's ring or something like that if you were like a pyromancer. That's this is all um, up to you. How you feel? How you? This see, is just aesthetic. How you see yourself or the person you wish you could escape into? Just yes, I slept in a sixteen-year-old girl's bed. I knew the moment I said that it was going to get some weird reaction, but it's like it was her, it was Lexi's niece. She wasn't in the room. You grosses. Top welcome heavy. To, welcome to From Friday. All right, please. God, that horny today, huh? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, they offered that. <laughs> Pointy face. How was your holiday break? We haven't talked about any. We haven't caught up. This is the we fun have, thing about the, these streams. Four seconds ago, I walked into this house. Literally going to catch up um, on it since we, like, the last time you did this show. Yeah. Uh, my holiday was great. I was in Florida. Cool, 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 uh, cool. There is no snow in Florida. Uh, well, actually, there is now those fucking losers. Um, yeah, it snowed in Tallahassee like two days wow. ago. Yeah, there's frost in Orlando. Wow. Um, it was good. I hung out. I chilled. Um, saw Star Wars. How many times? I've seen it twice now. I saw it once very recently. How'd you feel? Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I yeah. enjoyed it immensely. I, I, I was like really... I, had, I turned to... I went with Ben Epps, my good friend, mm -hmm. who... Um, that was his this fifth shit. time watching it in the theater. That was his fifth time. Wow. And I turned to him afterwards. I'm just like, I don't get it. Why were people upset about the fucking Why is movie? anyone upset? And I know we can't really get into it because I'm sure there, yes, there might be a few people. Yes, we should. People were very nice to not spoil it for us last time. And we're so not we going to get not into open it. it up, All but. I will say is I just didn't understand what there was to be upset about. I mean, I get it from a like fan point of view where you have ownership of something, where you think you own something you're a fan of. And if it doesn't do exactly what you thought it should do... You can be, you Isn't can that feel. The point? Isn't it yes, I agree. To, I agree. Isn't it supposed to throw you around and make you be like, whoa? Yeah, uh, show me something new. I, to me, it's my favorite one. Like, I don't want to say it's the best one since Empire or anything like that. Like, I quantifying things doesn't make sense to me. But like, yeah. I loved it. But I understand why some people have the feeling of like, oh, I know this franchise better than anyone, so me right. being wrong so means me they're knows. wrong. Right. I'm the one who knows Star Wars better than the, the than the Star Wars people. I did all the stuff. Yeah. I'm revoking my, the title of Daddy from Jared. Wow. Oh, I think it's because Momo did not like the new Star Wars. That's fine, Momo. I'm, I'm offended that you would be so brutal just because <laughs> of a difference of opinion. Um, but we can talk about it in a future time. Wow. I think you two love each other is what I think. 
<laughs> in the age of ancient. All right, let's just soak this in. The world was in. unformed. Ah, shrouded it. by fog. That was a good intro. By the way. Whoa! Yeah, we crags. gotta play at some point. Oh yeah. Arch trees, we got a Bloodborne card game and a Dark Souls board game. Dragons. Christmas and birthday time! Yeah. yeah, Lexi went nuts with the games. And then I got her the, the Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle fire. expansion. So we have so many, and, and then she got me this HP Lovecraft card game. game disparity. I am passionate about how much I did not like that. Mod, game. we can talk about it, <laughs> but like everybody was super cool about not right. spoiling it, and so I feel like the more we talk about it now, the like more dangerous. You know, we're here for Dark Souls right. and me looking like I'm an idiot so today. High. So, I'm about to get so high, Jared. <laughs> oh, oh, I should change the. Change this. Then from the dark, they came and found. The souls of lords. I have no idea how. The flames. Oh, whoops. Alright, we're fine now. Sorry about that. Oh, wait, well, I need to fuck it up one more time. Okay, now it's not gonna be fucked up anymore. Sorry about that. Need to. The I would never spoil Carry day. On Pimp. Sounds good. I'm interested though, Momo. I'm sad that we can't talk about it more because I'm actually really interested to, to hear why you dislike it. Yeah, I would love a conversation about it. Okay. I just don't want to, like. I don't want people who tuned in for Dark Souls to get a bunch of Star Wars shit. And you should know, too, I basically never agree with any opinion Jared ever has about any movie. It's the foundation of our entire, entire relationship. Because Jared did like It Follows, which is like the fucking stupid asses thing I've ever heard about. Fucking, it breaks its own rules. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It was a good idea for a trailer. I'm sorry it wasn't boring. <laughs> Can we, can we all just agree that High Waisted Pants Kylo Ren chops your spicy cream? Absolutely. Because Kylo Pants is a high tier. <laughs> What's better, Dark Souls or Star Wars? Say it in chat. I'm gonna go with Dark Souls. <laughs> Immediately disagree with you. But I do love Skull. Fucker, Nito, dude. Uh, Great Lord Nito, which he will be. Uh, these are all. What's nice about this? These are the. These are the guys. These are, these like, are the ones. See, the scale is equal. These are bosses. These are like late game bosses. I ship Lord Gwyn and Kylo Ren. You want Gwyn and Ren to look it? Star Wars is overrated as hell. Says God. <laughs> Go Here's the thing, you can't offend me with that because, like, of course it is. It's yeah, the most it famous movie franchise in the so world. Overrated. By the way, we just did an episode I think you'll really enjoy. But soon, um, the flames uh, will fade. We just recorded our Empire Strikes Back. Episode. Oh, wow. So I think you I'm quite enjoy definitely that. listen to it. Um, I learned a lot of very interesting things about that. And Jake knows a fuck ton about Even Empire. Even now. Um, brought in some great stuff. My favorite part is Jake really, um, with using right. examples, uh, showed how brilliant sense. John Williams, John Williams, right, his score, score yeah. was, and just how well and he like layered the different themes together in different moments mm -hmm. so Carriers perfectly to convey the, the what was happening in the film, side. like bringing back themes from earlier, like when certain moments. It was really cool. I am excited for that. Yeah, for sure. And just the hell that it was. It's weird because when I met Jake and I like talked to him for five minutes, I would have never thought, here's a guy who maybe likes Star Wars. <laughs> here's a guy who maybe has some information about it. Got to read a description of Darth Vader's gloves. I love how I had to look up like five YouTube videos to understand the story of Star Wars. Yeah. I think it's a requirement yes, to be indeed. overrated if your movie has the turned into a franchise. Yeah, I mean, the undead. Jared, you fucker. I want to you, says Jake Young is bored. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, I think it's about time for you to play this fucking video game. I know, I get it. If, if for a second there you thought there was no game to be had here. It was only going to be Star be Wars screaming unspecifically. <laughs> screaming about Star Wars. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close the window to the bathroom because that light is coming in. All right. I might take a rip to await the end. Lock and load, dude. Can I have some coffee? There's coffee that has been made. That's lovely. No, black's great. Black is great, man. That's right, I like black coffee. Anybody got a problem with my opinions? Dodge roll this sh you shit butler. Oh, go fuck yourself. What's happening, Vince Spike? Gee, how you doing? Peace in the Middle East. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, can we go back and rename him shit butler now? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. If only. Why do I have sweat stains on my shirt? That's so sad. I haven't done it.
Hello. Hey, Jerry, look at what I picked up. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to get too high. Tommy said what? Black coffee is the best coffee. Thank you, Tommy. Finally, some validation in this chat this room. Got my first soul. I will say this too, Jared. Yep. Um, literally just picked this up. So this is fresh, freshly ground Colombian. Really good coffee right here. So this is from Astoria Coffee. Ooh, it's phenomenal. That looks I really great. I love the coffee at Astoria Coffee. Um, so yeah, you're getting some real good stuff. Thank so you. It is, it is actually coffee worth drinking black. All right. I ran out of milk at one point and I still enjoyed my black coffee. Here you go. Thank you. Like the coffee, the sweeter the uh, coffee. That doesn't work at all. Okay, so I'm going to try not to really. You remember the beginning, though. Like, so you Vaguely. Know run past There's the... a dude who I talked to for a second. Yeah. I accidentally killed him last time. Oh, did you? <laughs> felt real bad about it <laughs> okay cool we'll just let you do your do your souls then i'm not gonna help you too hard right up top i mean here. definitely jump in if i become so stupid right it's right. boring for the fine people right right looks great this is a pc with, with it DS, is gorgeous with ds fix this is a beautiful version of dark souls this is the version of dark souls that you really want to play at this point in the game there it is. First bonfire. First bonfire. Beautiful. Do I need a rest to do anything, or do I just keep going? Not really, because you haven't uh, even Done gotten shit. a justice flask. So, yeah. You're you're fine. I don't think you have to. I mean, oh, you, you know. Oh, she's a man, baby. Man, Thank baby. You. Shred Pie Roberts for the sub. Appreciate it. Also, I should bring this up now. If you would like to donate, I do always split my donations with guests. Click on the donate button in the info section, or Nightbot is spamming the donation link every 20 minutes or so. Maybe my mod, mods want to post it up every now and again, too. Oh, Daddy, she's Vincent Spike G had, thank you for the wow. sub. Man, baby, thank you so much for the sub. Um, so anyways, yeah, uh, if you'd like to donate, really, especially the donations are really yeah. what counts for guests, and uh, we, we split them with them. So J Jared, Jared taking the plunge, valiant effort. Playing Dark Souls Woo! To, to, to his embarrassment for all of you people. It, everybody it quite, everybody uh, has beaten this like many times. Yeah, that is long. Yeah, that's not good. Do you know what the so I know, know that I gotta get up yeah, somewhere. Yeah. There, there you go. There you go. So you know what the deal is. Donate now $10 at least or ban. Thank you, Tommy. Also, welcome almost 40 fuckers in here. No backseat gaming unless Jared is really shitting the bed. Like just big, nasty dumps on that <laughs> Amish made duvet. <laughs> Word, give Jared some cold hard cash. Hell yeah, man. Let's do this, dude. Definitely already fat rolling. We need to fix that for sure. Um, so where's your fat rolling? Okay, so you got a shield, so now you can what is push fat rolling? God, I'm fat rolling this is, is when, so embarrassing. When you're hitting circles, stay in there because you're getting hit with an arrow. Um, uh, I dodged the arrow. You dodged it, but, but you will get hit <laughs> it while we talk about this. I just don't want you to get hit there. Uh, Jared has not died yet. Um. First of all, you want to equip that shield. So let's do that. Hit uh, the options button because you're playing with a PS4 remote. There's no such thing as a pause. And the uh, the little slot below, yeah, right there, right there, and then heater shield. All right, cool. So now you have that. Um, I don't think you need anything else. Super question, but is this Dark Souls 1? Yes, it is, he robbed the dude. This is the first Dark Souls, in my opinion, probably the best Dark Souls there is. Though I have not played Demon's Souls. So, the shitty thing about the way the menus work is when the menu is up, you can't do anything else. You need to hit circle again to close it. I remember That's gonna that. Fuck you I remember so hard. that now. And action, there's no pause. There's no pause button. So, so hold down. Uh, there you go. Like that. And uh, boom, boom, boom. There it is. So, you're kind of following him. It's all, it's all good now. Definitely pick that item up and equip that item. So hit the options button again and switch out the broken hilt sword. All right, now you can actually fight in the game. What is that? What's Square doing? I'm also. I just started playing Witcher. Oh um, god! And oh, how fucking awesome! Witcher's that. amazing. And I also just started one of my Christmas gifts that a friend of mine got me is Kingdom Hearts. Oh So I am wow. now juggling three completely different control wow. schemes. I'm playing right now. I am playing on Injustice Two, which we'll definitely play some. Ooh of, yeah! I want to get any of that. You will love it. Batman rules in it. 
Um, oh, we got to talk about the long Halloween, dude. I fucking yeah? love it. Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, I can't oh, wait to I get it. It's sitting right over there. I love it. It's the it, best. Dude. Holy it is shit. the best. Man, it's so good. Um, anyways, what? we'll talk about that more. Uh, what were we talking about before, though? Um, we were talking about this game. We were talking about uh, now you have the sword. Now you can you know block and stuff. Fat rolling. We're talking fat rolling. Yes. When you roll, look when you roll. Yeah, it's ugly and long. It's ugly and slow and long, uh, and that's an equipment issue. So we're gonna want to probably up uh, your. There are different stats that'll raise that for you. And a ring you can get, Havel's ring. Okay. But you have to kill Havel to get it. Um, He's the one, the big hammer. Yes, yeah. That will be ooh, ooh, ooh. a bane of your existence. Um, but if you can get it early. It's very helpful. I think we're going to go pretty strength-based. I think we're going to hook you up with this Y-hander. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to go big, just chunky, meaty hits. Mm. Determined meaty hits that just wreck people. That's, that's how the, I roll. That's, that's the I way I life. first got through the game. That's the way Kellen first got through the game. We might even make you into a Havel monster. Just take off all your armor. Yeah, we might just want to do that. I feel that. like that's a trick. No, because look, here, hit, uh, hit the... Yeah, and go into equipment, change equipment, and then go to your... Okay, so, where does it say the weight? So, by the way, these are your stats right, right here. High in strength and dex, terity. So, dexterity is the, the quicker, faster, smaller weapons, mm -hmm. fast rolling. Strength is just big fucking tank, you know, with a big right. fuck you sword, mm -hmm. right? Um, you don't really have to worry about intelligence or faith. Those are magic. Not needed. <laughs> yeah, magic, healing, different stuff like that. Resistance is good. Endurance is very important. That's your green bar. That's right. your stamina. This whole game is about stamina management. Uh, attunement, you don't really need to worry about at all. Again, that has to, to do with spell slots. Your main things are going to be vitality, endurance, and strength. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, and maybe a little resistance. I think resistance might affect equip load, but I can't remember. It might just be strength. Okay. Um, Remove, unequip, like, the the uh, pants. Just, oh, hit X to uh, square to unequip. Okay, so this is the other problem. This is, those are, these are Xbox these are wrong. commands. These are wrong. Great. <laughs> All right? Just great. So hit X is square, right? Okay. Now circle out. Now try to roll. Faster, right? A little bit. No? Still feels, faster, still feels huh? clunky. Um, look at my sexy zombie legs. Yeah, I feel like for now, let's just equip those back and not... I get the idea, much. though. Yeah. It's it's too heavy right now. I gotta it's get too heavy some, right now. Yeah. We'll get it worked out, though. I don't think you're going to have a problem too bad against this first boss. If you want to know what the shit Kingdom Hearts is about, this is weird that Kingdom Hearts came up again because somebody was hitting me up before the stream oh, telling yeah? me about, like, you need to play Kingdom Hearts. I'm really enjoying it. I'm very early, but yeah. it's really it's really a fun Maybe little, I'll have to get it's it. It's a cute-ass time. Um, and then Witcher is... Witcher Ooh. is Ooh. the best, might be my the best RPG I've ever played. I, I it may, be, I mean, I guess, I guess Dark Souls counts as an RPG, but I don't put the two games in the same fucking realm. Right. I'm just gonna go do yeah, this. Yeah, just go do this. Uh, sorry, we're just getting lost in conversation because again, Jared and I have not caught up in the longest time, and this is probably the game I'm most passionate about. So, so yeah, you're just up here now. You, you thought you were fighting a boss, but you weren't. Find a boss. I feel like you're, that's the guy I killed last time. That's the guy time. you're gonna talk to. Yeah, not kill. Definitely killed him last time. Yeah. Good at this game. Faux show. Yeah, he really does. He just give you. Does his dead body just give you the Estus blast? Mother. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so turn around. Oh, and, that's helpful. Yep. Mm-hmm. And talk to him. Oh, it's so funny that you hit him accidentally. You don't know, Holly. I'm not sure if I really want to know. It is a I'm deep, dark for, anime as fuck. Well, Jared, where are you in Kingdom Hearts? Literally the town. Like, I just met um, the Final you Fantasy. I just met uh, Yuffie and um, the guy from Nine, which I never played, so I don't remember him. Sprawled out. What's happening? Jeffy boy. How Jeffy! Excited as hell for the next cocktails. What next did he, Monday, a week from Monday. Is what did he ask cocktails. me if I kill him? <laughs> and I said yes last time. He. What is my decision? No, I think you say yes. Well, I don't remember. I didn't hear what he asked me. Say yes. Sure. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. I think you're fine. But perhaps you can keep the yeah, torch. Yeah, you're good. There was an old saying in my family. Yeah, maybe I should check out The Witcher. Oh, yeah, so we were talking about The Witcher. I'm Right now, by the way, I'm playing... Um, Assassin's Creed Origins, which is fantastic. I really am excited for that. I haven't played Syndicate. I haven't played the last, like, two. 
Well, after I the pirate one, to. I stopped. I heard Syndicate was okay. Sure, oh, I'm such a completionist. She's a man, baby. Whoa! Girl, but your bum so booze. What? But thank you so much for the donation, Jared. We're off to a great start today. Two subs, three subs, and a donation. Oh my fucking god! Wild. The best from Friday for the rest of your life. It's cold outside. Estes flask. Um. You guys, what if I don't die once? <laughs> like, no, what so if? No death run. Okay. <laughs> So how far are you? No, somebody asked how far you are in Kingdom Hearts, but literally the town, the 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 tavern town. I forget what it's what called. What edition is this? Is this like a remake? Of yeah, they just remaster. And I never played these as a kid, so played, this is totally I, brand new to I me. I played a little bit of one, but I didn't. I have to be honest, I didn't really get into it. Maybe I think I dismissed it as kid stuff because it was like right when I was kind of getting, you know, probably watching like Pulp Fiction and shit. Right. I just beat like Final Fantasy VII, and I was like. It just felt like kid stuff, and I think I dismissed it, on, uh, which was shitty of me. So I may have to go back and play the fucking game. Um, where are you in Witcher? Have you and, and better Witcher yet, just have, have you met the Bloody Baron yet? No, I'm going okay. after Bloody Baron. I think I just got through uh, bah, 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 White Orchard, yeah, and then I just hung the, out, which is the opening, opening thing, kind of which was big as a game itself. Uh, right. And then I play. God, I met so long. met Yen. And now I've just gotten to the first area that I went to. Yen rolls. Killed killed some priest, which was great. Been to a whorehouse yet? No. I haven't been to any, like, city yet. All right, I think you're done in here. No, so good. don't kill him. No. Okay. <laughs> if you do, he says, why? <laughs> and then disappears. <laughs> and it's very upsetting. Uh, you can go up. You can go down. I think if you go down, you open a short. Go down first. I think going up is the way forward. All right. So go down first. Just make sure you're all right. Anyone here a Dragon Age fan? Let's get a bet going. How long will Daddy Jared last before he dies? I think he'll get past the opening tutorial. I think he'll die in Undead Bird, to be honest with you. But we shall see. Yeah, let's just take a bet. Will the tutorial boss kill Jared or not? I think that is the best question. He already did? No, the boulder didn't kill him. It just hurt him. Okay, cool. So that did you open a gate just then? Yes. Yeah. So that is opening a shortcut, right? So now you can go back through that gate, and and you, if you do die to the tutorial boss, you can go back. Did you come that way? You came no, I came. Way? Yeah, I was just yeah. Around. Go that way. Because that's where the boss is up in those levels. I believe so. Yeah. I think you want. Well, you have to drop down on them. Right. Okay. You have to do a plunging attack. So you want to to target somebody. You click down on the right. Um, on your camera analog, right? Mm -hmm. To target somebody. So, oh, like, fuck, target him now. Him. Target him now. There you go. And then hit him. Right? Okay. So, and then, like, if you hit R1, R1, kind of, it'll do, like, yeah, practice your swings and stuff. See? And then R2 is a is a strong Heavy. attack. Yeah. But you're mostly going to be hitting that R1. Yeah, because I don't right? use all my, all my... Yeah, you're mostly hitting that R1. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. And see your stamina? And, yep. and when your shield is up, now lower your shield. See? All right. Okay. So All right. that's what it what we mean by stamina management. When your shield is up, your stamina is creeping back up. Mm -hmm. But when it's down, It'll... which makes you vulnerable, it will pop back mm -hmm. up. So it's all about managing that, especially if you're a heavy shield user, which you probably will be this run right. of the game. Like you'll probably be more using that shield, leaning on that shield as a crutch. Um, this is we'll really see. good coffee, by the way. Yes, it's delicious, right? I love it, and I literally could not be fresher. It was just ground up in front of me uh, at the at the store. One of the regrettable things: I woke up to this nightmare outside, and I fucking had to a go get rosé, which I could have gotten yesterday because I went and got wine. B uh, had to get coffee, which is the worst when you fucking wake up with no coffee, man, and it sucks out. Oh, I had no coffee <laughs> yesterday during the snow. I had to go get. Uh. Yeah, right? Because we are thoroughly addicted. I, I don't know. I couldn't have fathomed the headache I would have not drinking a cup of coffee Way in off. the morning. I'm in the worst cycle possible. I just, like, drink coffee until it's time to drink beer or wine. It's so bad. So, before you go through there, yeah, go down here. Now, there's also the backstab. Maybe we can get one here. You you get behind the person and then just, like, hold down R1 to, to stab them in the back. Or you can fight him legit, by the way. You don't have to do that. Also, you now have an SS flex, which means you can heal. So healing would be hitting um, square. Yeah. Oh, so oh there it is. Yeah, that would have been, yep, that been right? good. All yeah. right. It's because he will kind of get... Yeah, 
Either way, though, punish that. Yeah, you can just punish him. You may want to heal. He's healing. Ooh, interesting. What is my... What Square. Is... It's pretty quick, right? It's pretty quick, especially with the way this guy's being. Yeah. It's not as slow as fucking Dark Souls 2, which is way too slow. Especially in the beginning. Alright, yeah. Okay. Uh, you may be able, because you have the master key, I can't remember. Open it, maybe? No. Okay. Now it's time to go fight the boss. So, now you know how to target by clicking in, right? Yeah. So you're going to walk through this uh, uh, fog door, you're going to target him, and you, you can't take too long doing this. You target him, and then I just did it drop last time. and hold down R1. So target him, and then drop and hold down R1. Yeah, I definitely yeah. am holding it. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think you had to let go and hold it down again. I think you held it too early. I think you dropped first and then hold it. Down. See what I'm saying? So is this even possible? Fucking that Heal. up? No. Yeah, you're fine. You just have. Yeah, you're, you're good. Oh, it's way possible, dude. This is the tutorial boss. It's nothing. Just get in there, and whack away, and then roll when he swings. Yeah, there you go. Boom. You got it. Wait for that stamina to come up. Stamina. Don't get gotta too, watch stamina. Uh, greedy. And see, you can back away, let the stamina come back up, heal if you need to, and then go back in. You got this, Jared. This is easy stuff. See, you didn't even hit you because you were, you were in your getting up animation. Woo! Alright, good time to heal. Get me out of here. So, bets right now, if Jared's going to beat the tutorial boss, they should be coming in right now. The odds are pretty even right now because this looks like a pretty even fight so far. Don't be too shy of this guy. Get on in there. Yeah, there you go. Oh, get away. <laughs> All right, you can heal. Heal. Nice. Get in there. You only got one heal left. Roll away. All right. You may just want to get that heal in soon. Yeah, heal now. And then that's it. All right, kill him. Get in there. Don't be don't be scared. Roll. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Gotta stand. Gotta get that stam up. Rolling also takes stam away, by the way. Alright. You got this. Just run in there and kill him. He's almost dead. Roll. Yeah, just get in there. Yes, yes. One more. One more. Yeah, buddy. There it is. Who bet against me? There Who are my enemies? <laughs> I would have bet Woo! against me. <laughs> he beat the tutorial boss. Congratulations to the cool, cool Jared for not dying. The coolest thing in the world. You alive, cool guy. There you go. I think I think Jake's trying to say something about your comments earlier. I feel earlier like Jake. <laughs> about what you were saying about him. I feel like, what do you think when you met me, though? Like, literally, it's not an insult. Like, I feel like Jake and I met each other, and we both were just like, don't immediately start talking about Star Wars. <laughs> just vibrating off our faces. We always believed in you, Jared. Fantastic. GG's for sure. <laughs> G fucking G's. Is this like Zelda? Can I find shit in here? Or is this, am I just being silly? Um. Wait, what now? No, you, there's no. Oh, this is just. just okay. Open them doors. We are done. You are good to go. I think it's these doors right here. All right. Arsenal. I wish Awo would come into chat because I finally got his donation that he mailed to Last Podcast Network, which was oh, hilarious. Wow. Um, and I need to give Jackie her, like, weed card. Kellen who? We got Jared now. Jared doesn't let us down. Wow. Whoa, Mamad. I feel like we're redeemed Ooh. from our Star Wars fight earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. I will say, though, I'm the one that lets everyone down. Kellen also pretty <laughs> solid at Dark Souls games. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I was just like, I can't fight that fucking dragon boss today. It will be hours <laughs> of me fighting that boss because that boss is my Absolutely, this is a giant bird! Birds are great! Kellen will never die. Dark Souls 3 is on sale in the PlayStation Store. Is it worth it? Yeah, it is. How much? But yes, it's completely... I love that game. Yeah, I remember when I first started this game, I got it when it came out. No, it had to be after, because Kellen already played it, and he was going to, like, help me out, because he was crashing with me for a while. And it was like, we started it, and then the next day I went to work, and I came home, and Kellen was like in a dungeon of hell, fighting, like, <laughs> giant trolls. It's just like, what? How do you do this? 
Tw yeah, it's super worth 20 bucks. It's super worth 20 bucks. That's very Kellen, dude. Just like, he will just fuck it. I mean, he's like, I mean, I will do that too, especially with the Souls game, but any game, if I have like a, just a day, yeah. I'll just play the whole fucking day. I will not stop. The only thing now is I'll just switch it up a lot more. You know what was really good? Um, short game. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, now you can level up. Um, let's do what one into vitality, just because I hate odd numbers, and then strength, strength, strength. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get it going now. Required souls to my. You're good, so hit A to enter. So that's like you putting, so you could kind of change what you're putting points into, right. and then now you're gonna lock it in. I should get add to play Resident Evil. I should. The new one? MLG Comboy 69. <laughs> Major League Comboy 69. I will do that. Yeah, the new one's great. I would probably put it on easy for Ed, though, but he would probably, he would, he he would, would enjoy, probably it. enjoy it. He's really game for shit, which is cool. You met my day yesterday. I was having a real shitty day, and I finished X-Men Part 2. The autoplay came on, and holy shit, when Evil Dead came on, you gave me that shout-out. It made things a lot better. Hell yeah, truth, oh, nice. Glad to hear it, man. I hope we did it justice. We will, we will do some... I want Ed to be scared. Yeah. Well, I got Ed to play Bloodborne. He was actually he got through the first boss. Like he got farther than I ever thought he would at Bloodborne. But yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. Lord uh, Fucker is a great name. Thank you. Also, Evil Dead episode was lit as fuck. Thank you. Hell yeah. I'm glad y'all are enjoying it. We will go great. back and do an Army of Darkness uh, bonus app uh, for for patrons. All right. So Am I leave? done here? Yeah, I don't need done. to reverse my Halloween or any of that. No, no. That is to become human, um, and you can kindle your bonfire, but that's all going to come later. So. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's happening, right? Can you tell right? well, you're not the first. You can kind of click through no this if you want, unless you're just enjoying this. I love peace story. And <laughs> peace and quiet. <laughs> Well, this story, of course, is very convoluted and bizarre and it's sort of hidden behind layers. Yes, I do hope that you will. I know everybody wants me to get my ass handed to me, but I do hope you'll fill in some lore here and there. I, Unless that's also okay. cheating somehow. So, no. Um, I'm going to fuck this up so bad. And if anybody would like to come in and, and really help out um, uh, with, with some of this stuff, I would say right now, just go ahead and explore. The graveyard is... A death trap so i'll just throw right. that out there right now but um and maybe that's guiding you even too much these are all npcs that can perma die if you kill them and they're not going to kill you are not acquainted i am Petrus, um if not dark souls lore so it's so so first of all i would just say if you are really curious um check out vati video i'll like send you the links and he does really good lore recaps for dark souls games and he talks that eh? Like how one would if they were doing like, like how all, all the NPCs in this game were yeah, talking with like really good music. Oh. And stuff. Mm -hmm. I bought every Dark Souls, never finished any of them. They would piss me off so much. I'd just get rid of them. Says Dasoth. Well, this is the good thing is Jared has to. Like, there's no. I am required. I remember uh, dying on that. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and say you're gonna, that was just gonna be death. Um, I feel like I'm already guiding you too much because I should have just not said anything about the graveyard. No, but remember, I've been through. I got through right. at least the. Um, the I don't remember exactly how I got oh, there. Wear out his dialogue. So this is the other thing too. You want to like definitely wear out everybody's dialogue. Hello, I realize, but I also want you to know. Do a fanfiction.net yeah. episode. Hell yeah. Good. You and Jake should read erotic fanfiction of whatever subject y'all cover for the oh, podcast and post oh, to Patreon. I yeah, we should. So I should. I need to do more that. stuff. Maybe I'll just do a bunch of weird shit this weekend and start well. posting it on the Patreon for for the fuck of it. Should I join a coven? Sure. I'm not you, in anyone. I'm not in so. a one yet. I don't think so. Boo. Haircut cleric bitch boy. Boo. Yeah, he kind of sucks. Um, keep talking to him. You, so you always want to just keep going until the... Because learn gesture. So they're gestures. Now you learn the shrug gesture. There's always just little things. Little, little tiny things. Uh, but anyways, Dark Souls lore. So, okay. There were like these... The world used to be run by these, like, like dragons, the and then there was, uh, are... was it King Lothric killed the dragons? There's a flame that they're trying to keep alive. Oh, would... This guy never stops talking, that is true. Come um, again. The all right, just get out of there. I'm trying to think of anything else. There is the fire keeper. That's my little vagina item. That is humanity. Uh, so one thing I would say, so that is what makes you go human. When you go human, you can kindle a bonfire using a second humanity, which gives you more Estus flasks. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there's the furtive pygmy, right, Tommy? Can you give us the lore recap, Tommy? Because I'm in no shape to do that right now. I, I never understood the lore. I just, like, love elements of it. I just love how weird and creepy it is. Turn around, talk. Yeah, go to that gate right there and talk to her. Okay, she cannot speak. She, uh, she is very important. If you get a Firekeeper's Soul, you will take it to her, and she will reinforce your Estus Flask, which makes your Estus Flask more powerful. Okay. Which is something that you would know because the game gives you absolutely no information. <laughs> exactly. About I did whatsoever. so much. <laughs> Lol, no, says Tommy. Um, how does the scaleless dragon play into Dark Souls? Dude, I fucking don't know, dude. Uh, okay, well, Seat the Scaleless was doing. Um, was doing research in trying to become a mortal, which he did crack the code on, but that kept him in his lair, essentially, in the crystal cave. Um, Stupid bird friend. Logan Paul's a fuckwit. How did Logan Paul come up with this? Yeah, we heard about it. It's like asking Tommy to write a 10-page essay that's due tomorrow. <laughs> of course we heard about it. Why are we talking about that? Um, it would be cool if we never spoke about Logan Paul <laughs> I know. I his, hate his fucking name brother came up. ever again. <laughs> he has a brother? Yeah, the, who's maybe worse? Um, well, anyways. Um, okay. He's a scum cunt. This is good. You're finding things. This is fine. Uh, we can pick up the Zweihander now, but you can't even wield it till later. So I'm kind of like... I'm kind of thinking, um... We should maybe, uh, not deal with it yet and deal with it when you get back. You can go on a suicide run and get the get the uh, the Zwei, which I think we're gonna set you up with the Zwei Hander. Right. Um, I think that's a big, giant, awesome sword that Kellen and I really loved in our first playthrough, and I kind of want to like walk through memory lane with you. That'd be that. great. I got the Drake sword last time. Yes, we will also be getting the Drake sword most definitely, um, and we'll we'll deal with that as well. The Drake sword will be well. So you got pretty far. Yeah, I didn't totally... First two yeah. bosses. So this is the graveyard over here. I mean, if you want to go on no, a suicide run for the... Nope, nope, nope. why we can do that. Every time Jared dies, he has to do five push-ups. It's kind of fun. I mean, that's okay, because I did... I feel like that's a donation incentive. We should make that an incentive. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I am sacrificing my workout time to sit and play video games. That's true. So. Damn, every time you die, though... That's a lot. It's going to be it's such be insult very to injury. Exhausting. <laughs> Can we, like, rack them up, like, at the end of the three hours, <laughs> I have to do 180 push-ups? <laughs> okay. Is that the thing? Is that uh, what we're doing? Why'd I say that out loud? All right. <laughs> 30. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I had a green screen set up, too. But we're going to get more into that later. Maybe pull out a beard hair instead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. What? How much money would you? Would we have to receive in donations for you to do a... A five push-ups for every death at the end of your session today. How oh much is God. that worth? We're playing. How much are we, are so we playing? So it for would be three hours. It would be five dollars uh, for every or five push-ups for every death, right? Right. And we would rack them up and do them at the very end, right? Which is gonna be that's gonna be too many push-ups. For Maybe a to we do. don't know. Yeah, we um, don't know. We don't know how much you're gonna die. A lot. How many push-ups can you do? <laughs> I can total? probably do like thirty push-ups so before be, I want to kill myself. That would be. I'm bad at math. That would be how many deaths? Six deaths. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. There's no jump, right? How about a push-up per death? Right. Push-up per death, accumulative. Accumulative. Push-up per death. Can you do 4,000 push-ups at a time? <laughs> uh, Kamikins, only uh, when my adrenaline's really Or up. we could set a cap. I just think you're going to die 10 times today. Like, how are you not going to die 10 separate times today? I you surely know? will. Also, where the fuck am I going? Okay, <laughs> now you're going the right way. Now you're going the right way. Do like the booby streamers, five bucks for one squat. But see, this is not... It's about him dealing with the death. I'm about to take this fucking donation and off the table. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> There's a guy above throwing fire. Oh, does he have fire you. magic? Cool. He has fire bombs, which you will also acquire. I mean, I think one of the things with souls is like you, everything you see, you can acquire pretty much at some point. See, he's up there with his boys. So you might even want to go take care of him before you come back here and loot. Because he's just going to bomb you. 
capture me at 150 push-ups. Well, he said he could do 30. <laughs> now they're just making fun of your ability to exercise. You're probably taking humanity off your 30's bars. pretty good. Yeah, hit down. Hit the down B button. One more time. Yeah, okay. That was smart. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good call, Gostrin Kaiju. That's something. Okay, I think you killed everybody. All right, go into your pause menu, your, your equipment menu. Go to change equipment. Now go to your items, because it automatically puts slots them in, which sucks. So mm -hmm. take them out, because you don't want to accidentally use those items. The vagina and the... Right. Goes. So just get rid of these? Hit uh, square. No. Yeah, hit circle. My bad. Hit uh, square. X is... Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make it a little extra frustrating. Woo! All right, circle out. You're good. Just wanted, just wanted to avoid that. It's just annoying. It wouldn't be the end of the world if you used a humanity, but it'd just be like, it would just be a waste. I, would, I would remember fucking that up a lot, and it always pissed me off. Yeah, the humanity. Oh, circle again. Oh, You're still that's in the menu. right. All right. Hey, Amanda, what's up? Okay, you passed it. I was gonna oh, go get. I was gonna, gonna go loot. Okay, cool. I'll let you. I'll let you play your game. So yeah, Long Halloween, man, just phenomenal. Just I can't the wait best to, Batman comic ever. I can't wait to read. Yeah, it really just like encapsulates. I was thinking about it last night, and it's just like perfectly, a perfect mixture of like the classiness that Batman can be with the bizarre that Batman can be mm -hmm. with with the with the you know superhero trope that Batman can be. Like it's just the perfect mixture of all those things. Like, yeah, it I love doesn't how hit classy one thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, they have two more books that they did together. Cool. Um, what's the second one? Dark Victory, which introduces Robin, which is like about as cool as a way you can do Robin. I think cool. they like really did a good job of, of like showing that. Oh, Jesus. Um, he's. Oh, it's a rat. What's that one called? Because I know you... So you mentioned, what, three to me, and I definitely want to go and read the other two. So there's the Long Halloween... Long Halloween, Dark Victory, and then there's um, Tales of the Haunted Night, I think. And those are just shorts. Okay. And it's like... It's a Halloween special, basically, where it's like he fights Scarecrow, he fights any of the fear-oriented villains. Mm. Um, and it's just like little... It's like four one-off stories that are really cool. cool. The Long oh, Halloween... It was the Owls one that you said the Owls. That's Scott Snyder, who was the most recent writer, okay. and it was his the beginning of his run was okay. uh, the and that's Court of Owls storyline. Yeah, I really like what Scott Snyder did. Uh, so to get rid of uh, items on your menu, you have to like hit. Yeah, that's um, how many diamond push-ups can Jared do? Or are those oh, when you the, do this? The double hard ones. Oh, I think those are like none, probably right. The Batman metal stuff. It's pretty cool. I haven't read any of that. I'm always at least three years behind any contemporary comics. I bet you won't die that much, though. Why do I feel like you won't die that much? This is the real. This is where the game really kind of starts. This. So this will be the test. <clears throat> um, what else? Yeah, I'm really enjoying Assassin's Creed Origins. I think it's a. Oh, what? It's. I definitely wanted like an open world game like that just to fucking dive into after the break. So I'm really enjoying it. Injustice Two is really cool. Uh, oh yeah, I was telling you, uh, What Remains of Edith Finch, phenomenal like short game. Like a really oh, I've good, heard like, of that. I really wanted to play. That's I, like one of those. Um, I play with like Lex. Yeah, it was it was a good like one of those. Like everyone's gone to Rapture. Or... Um, yeah, or um, it's made by the people who did Unfinished Swan. If that gives you a better, so it's got mechanic integration on some of the. It's kind of a series of little stories essentially interactive stories and it there are certain ones that are brilliant and there are some that are like less you know that are yeah. just kind of okay cool that was interesting or you know it can get a little cute or whatever at times but it's it's um fascinating so you can roll into those and that's kind of a fun thing to like to do is well, so i was asking them. earlier is there there can be stuff you can find some things i don't think there's necessarily anything in here but yeah you can it's just fun to maybe roll around. I can't believe, by the way, that it's 81 degrees in Arizona. It is a uh, fucking it's, hinterland out it's there. It's 12 here? I think this is where you came from. It is. You were going the right way before. That guy climbing up the bridge. Yeah. See that fog gate? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if there was something to do beforehand. That is the way. Uh, also, Mama This Steez, yes, we picked up the master key as the starting gift. That is always what I do. Tried docking Elite Dangerous for 20 minutes in the tutorial. I don't think it's my speed. 
35 in Florida. That's kind of wild, too. It Ooh. got down there while I was down there. So you visited Florida. That was fun uh, for you, Jared, or no? Was it family No, time it's good? good. I'm down with being home. It's always... Me, too. There are certain challenges. Um, <laughs> I did not have to go to church. <laughs> nice. Yeah, me neither. Nice. I avoided church. I have had to go to church recently. I don't mind, I don't mind doing that. I'll go to Christmas service. That's yeah, fine. Christmas service is kind of nice, actually. I like this, it. They were like, there's only one on Christmas Eve. Just go up. Here. Um, I think he missed it. I think a giant dragon. Yeah, it's a like, giant dragon swooping around down on the on the bridge there. But whatever. But I was a little scary. You, cat. which is good to be a scaredy cat. Okay, it's good to be it. I will say this: the bon the next bonfire is not far away. Um, not far away. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah, you got a guy up top shooting arrows. You got these guys. You uh, definitely want to heal soon. This is Dark Souls. This is it. Good work. Good work. Yeah, that guy's a fucker. I would probably take care of him. Master Key is love and life. I absolutely agree. I think the only time you don't want to do that is if you're going Pyromancer and you want to. I think that's when you get the old witch's ring. I believe. Stupid asshole. But the master key, yeah, there's some op uh, opening gifts, starting gifts that are wholly useless. All right, Jared, good work. You found your next bonfire. That's a huge little, that is a good test right there. I think you're gonna be just fine playing this game. Are you gonna get the Uchi Katana? We could, we're going for more of a strength thing. I think I'm gonna set him up with the Drake Sword and then the Zwei Hand. Uh, I think that that's gonna just be our, our method and maybe even turn him into a Havel monster. It's the Undead Berg welcoming party. So, of course, all of those enemies are just killed, revived, but you right. could probably uh, level up. So, before you Can aggro I? them again. Is yeah. there a way to tell that? Um, you just have to check. Okay. So, see here, that's the required souls. You have 981. Okay. Right? So, I can. So, you can at least know next time how mm -hmm. much you'll need, and that number will just keep going up. Um, so, I would maybe do a point into endurance or. I mean, honestly, endurance, strength, or vitality, early game. You just want to be pumped. Endurance, all that's those. stamina. That's my green if, bar. If right? you were playing with Kellen, he would just be like strength, 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 strength. But I right. think that's for more of a skilled play. I think you need to be pumping early game into endurance and vitality as well. So, all right. I'm yeah, gonna go with endurance because I don't have any. Bar. Vitality is your. Um, and, and also, uh, hit, um, I guess, the this button, maybe? Yeah, so let's go through these. Coffee. Get your coffee in you. Wow, this is nice. You can definitely get some moisture on this. Uh, so. Grip. <laughs> vitality determines HP. Right. Okay? Determines number of attunement slots. You don't need to worry about that. Stamina, equipment load, and resistance to bleeding. So equipment load is so key as well, and mm -hmm. that is why we're going to want to be putting into endurance. Strength uh, for to wield powerful weapons, also boost weapon attack. Dexterity for advanced weapons, boost weapon attack. And then resistance, boost uh, defense and resist to poison. And then intelligence is uh, sorceries, miracles is faith. I don't know why this humanity thing is down here. It's really weird. Resistance is best stat. Defense and resistance to poison, yeah. So resistance as well, that's another one we could put points in. I'll throw some stuff in there, yeah. But Vit for the equipment load, really? Um, and then also it'll show you when you, we, we can't see it now, but it'll show you when you put, when you like move one of those, it'll like in blue show you what's going up okay. over here. So HP, stamina, equip load. I'm just pointing out the stuff on here. So your right-handed weapon one and two, left-handed weapon one and two. Um, and that's kind of going against what's already equipped. Physical defense uh, versus different types of things when they strike slash thrust. Uh, different weapon types and stuff. Magic defense, flame defense, light defense is pretty obvious. Poise is huge. Poise is essentially their ability to, like, knock you back. All right? So if you have a really strong poise and you can't really be knocked back Got easily. low center of gravity. Yeah, exactly. Strong and haunches. It, yes. And it plays a huge deal, especially in PvP uh, in this game. Mm -hmm. Bleed resist. Of course, when you, when you bleed, you really, like, take huge um, uh, uh, HP hits. Um, like all in one chunk kind of it just fucks you up really fast poison of course uh, curse is a nightmare in this game curse is terrible uh, and uh, so yeah, if, you, if you get cursed mm -hmm. in this game they don't do it in any other game I don't believe maybe they do it in demon souls if you get cursed you 
I'm gonna refill. You good? Keep talking. I'm good. Please you keep started. explaining to me. Um, actually, if you could pour me a cup, yeah, that's what, uh, I was, that would be awesome. what I just said. <laughs> yeah, well, I, it's not really a refill because that's probably when I pour me a mug and not a. So, um, when you curse, you 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 come back to life with a with your max a HP lowered like hugely, I think to half. And you have to go get a, only a certain item that costs like a couple thousand souls will cure you of curse. You are cursed right. indefinitely. Oh, that's, no, I don't want to do and that. there's no fast warping until like halfway through the game. So you literally have to like run so far away. There's one area where you can be cursed that if you get cursed, it sucks so hard. So well, hard. Like first. Yeah. You like milk or almond milk? Uh, milk, please. Jesus Christ. Almond milk is the worst. Like, that's, of course, Lexi, can, you know, she's got, like, her health stuff. But it just makes your... It fucks the whole taste of the coffee up. I feel no, like... I love the taste. Do you shake like, it up? Maybe that's the problem. You I, shake up almond. I feel like... I feel like it changes the whole coffee to taste like almond coffee. And I don't want almond coffee all the time. I guess I like almonds so much. So that you're cool with that. Because I feel like milk is, like, a ghost in your coffee. It, it's there to, like soften it up and just make it all nice for you but it doesn't like drastically affect the taste I, I don't think all right let me just show you some equipment stuff too just go to toggle display okay thank you so this is some equipment display stuff and you can toggle the display and this is where you learn a lot about lore is an item description stuff right this doesn't give you a ton of like, right. lore stuff but other items do right mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, this is your physical damage. If it's a magic sword, it'll have added effects here. Lightning, that's, that's its, like, critical hit number. The most important thing is down here at the parameter bonus down here is its scaling, okay? That is strength, dexterity. I can't remember which one that is. And I think it's, I forget what those two are. But, um... I'm definitely following all of this and won't lose any <laughs> of this information. The main thing you need to know are these two right mm -hmm. here, okay? It scales with the big fist arm right here. Uh -huh. um, that, that is again? strength. That yeah. big right there, that is strength. The hand is dexterity, right? So it scales C with strength and C with dexterity. If it scales, you want your weapon to be scaling A or S with strength. That's what you want. Got it. At the end of the day, like at the end of the game. You want okay. an A scaling strength weapon because you're going for a pure strength build. Okay? So that's the main thing we're going to be looking for. And then this is kind of defensive properties of it, um, which is great. Which is more uh, for. Uh, that just unequips it. That's the. Oh, wait. That does it. Okay. N this is. You're really looking at damage reduction for your shields on. Uh, for that. Um, durability, weight is important. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. And then if you look, okay, so this is where you're going to see your, um, where is your equip load, okay? 21.4 out of 53. So you, I think you're already rolling better with that one little boost. So you want to keep your equip load quite low so that you can continue to fast roll. Okay. If you like the Milk Ghost analogy, fantastic. I'm good here, right? We saved, we did all the things we gotta do. Yeah, so all you have to do is rest at a bonfire to, you know, be This good to go. goes nowhere. nowhere. Yeah, yeah. That is a ladder that can be lowered. I will say that, but not, not, not today. You're not gonna see that ladder lower until way fucking later. Yeah, so this is when things really get hairy. Um, I don't know how much I want to direct you here. I'll just say there is a blacksmith nearby. Um in that direction, and the way forward is that direction. I don't think that's getting hit as much, is it? But I don't want you to kill this blacksmith. This literally is a black skulker. Uh, our buddy Steve, uh, a.k.a. Skulk the Hulk King, he had to fully restart his Dark Souls run because he killed this blacksmith Oh my god. Which isn't that big of a deal, like, here, seemingly, but you've played this game before to the point where you at least know how to do this basic shit. If you don't know what you're doing the first time you play a Souls game, this was hours. This took forever to get here. Forever to get here. 
Um, thanks everybody for joining us today. We got almost we we we're, we're circling around fifty fuckers right up in here, which is fantastic. Happy welcome, to have you. Welcome to Friend Friday. Uh, Thanks for uh, inviting me in. Of course, man. This I know is we're great. still missing Kellen. What I we need to Kellen do is too. what we will. What we need to do soon is we need to bring Kellen in via uh, video chat. That would be for, fun. For I I will say I I really want to do that, but we can give up any hope of like not getting uh, handhold no handholding yeah, there. That is true. Kellen that will one, literally not be able to stop he will himself. Not be able to, yeah, for sure. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to maybe point you in some basic directions, but uh, I even need to stop doing that. I feel like I should just let you kind of roam around and do your thing. But, I mean, all, all, all I'm giving you is those couple of details. I just don't want you to kill this fucking blacksmith because it's just annoying. Aren't you guys still stuck in a shit ton of snow? Dude, and the fact that Jared made it all the way out here for this, I mean, to be Almost honest, <laughs> what, we, what, we definitely, what we definitely need to raise money for, which is I know we do with uh, Carly, is cab fare to get home. So if you do want to donate, um, it will be going well, that would towards... Be, that would be really nice. Yeah. How much is a cab home? It's like 20 bucks? 20, 20, 25 bucks. So, Depends so on... far we've raised $8 for that. So um, we're already getting close there. I should put a little donation Ooh. incentive thing or, or meter tracker. Maybe we'll do that. Now, you were kind of just explaining this. My inventory is my roll affected by how much stuff I'm carrying, so I should it's limit like excess. Just stuff that's equipped. Just stuff that's equipped. Just stuff okay. That's equipped. So I can keep collecting bullshit yeah, items. Yeah, you can keep collecting that's where bullshit I came items. From. That is where you came from. You still have a little bit more to do down here. So, okay, do not kill that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's no, sinister too. He's like, I, I just realized we're all dude. fucking dead. And you want to? Oh, are you gonna play uh, Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition on release date? Of oh, fucking course I will, dude. Isn't it free for us? It just downloads for us. When is it released? I'm gonna look that up right now. It's it's like I thought it was like March. Ooh. All right. Uh, arcade Edition. Orange guided soapstone. Uh, I feel like I want to. I want a range, right? Should I get some firebombs for throwing knives? Um, you're gonna pick all that stuff up. Maybe go to go to the key. The what? Uh, R trigger. So you're in items. Go to. I think it's R. Yeah. Oh no, it's just D-pad. Yeah, there it is. Um, so you can't afford any of that. You could afford this. I would get the residence key. Um, you also want to get a bow and arrow so you can get the Drake sword. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop some souls. Word. Ooh, Hold it's out on, on the 16th. Of course I'll play it on release date. So here, go into items. Um, go actually into the other menu to the left. That one, yeah. And scroll down. So soul of a lost undead. Choose that. Use item. Oh, actually, you do probably want to slot it in your slot, and then just use. It. Okay, so going to who's learning the menu, which is annoying, but we got to do it. All right, hit options again, and go to equipment, like I told you not to do. Equip the item, the souls right there. Equip it, soul lost and dead, and then circle all the way out. Now you're gonna change, yes, and just use and just square, 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 and pop all of them. See how far we get. The thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna try to get we're gonna want to get enough souls so that you can get the residence key, and then the and also arrow. the bow and some arrows. Oh, you again? Hey. I hope you brought plenty of souls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the worst. All right, but he's great. Go to your key. Get that? No, get the residence key, not the repair box. Don't worry about that. That's what I thought I was getting. Get the residence key. Okay, now go to, yeah, weapons. Let's see how much that bow is. So you're going to want to get that short bow, I think. Scroll up one. Yeah, so we need to get this short bow. It's a 1,000 souls. So let's kill some guys and come Define back. 26, yeah. Thank see that little hallway? Um, <laughs> go back inside. The one in here? There's a hallway. Yeah, yeah there's going to be some guys for you to kill down there. 
Yeah, awesome, man. I'm excited for uh, Arcade Edition because I really feel that's what that game is missing. Because sometimes I just want to jump into that game and just fight on arcade mode on different levels of difficulty and not necessarily play online players or sit in a training room or anything. Like, so it's just, I, I like that with any game. I just want to be able to pick it up because, you know what, sometimes... Like, you have to be so fucking focused and ready emotionally and mentally for fucking online fighting people or have people on there that you can just spar with, but that is also becoming difficult. I, at least Tommy's super in now, and I know you guys are, but every, usually when I get on to play it, like, no one's playing it when I'm playing it, and so I have to play online players, which stresses me out, or sit in a training room, which I enjoy, but it's a little too low-key. I need an arcade mode so I can just jump in, uh, no matter what my uh, intoxication is at that current moment, and just enjoy some Street Fighter. Like, whether I want to play it on baby mode, hard mode, whatever, I just want to have that option. So I'm excited for Arcade Edition. This copy is good. Fucking rambling like a fucking cocaine fucking playing at uh, owner at this point. Gotta grind up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is all like a fucking... It's a huge maze. Yeah. The design in this game it's is awesome, so right? uh, it's absurd. I think there was somewhere you could drop down up there. Go back up there? Is this where you came from, right? Yes. All right, climb back up there. I think there's more we can do up here. Just got to deal with all those day one Sakuras, lol. I'm not going to bother with anyone till Falk. I got to get out of this Injustice 2 hole I dug myself into. Yeah, I'm enjoying Injustice 2, so I think what? So you right can there. just drop down there. Which is back where you were, maybe, or is it new? No, it's back where you were. So see, you just wound all the way around. Um, so I think you can buy the bow, but you won't have any money for arrows. So what I'm thinking is maybe you should just actually straight up Keep sit going. at the bonfire. Yeah, open that. Oh, let's we'll open that door. But yeah, maybe you just want to go sit at the bonfire and just clean up this area one more time. There you go. Nice. That'll be a better shield for you. All right. Potentially. Uh, probably heavier shield as well, though. All right, so yeah, I would sit, go back in, clear out this area one more time, more and then buy, and then hopefully you won't die, and you can uh, use those souls you acquired to buy your bow and arrows. So yeah, okay, so this gives you basics uh, right. information. So that's defense against magic, fire, and lightning, but that's um, what'll tell you how. So the shield I have is better. Is better, yeah. It's not. It's a. Uh, it's not as light. So if, if you wanted a lighter shield, you would go with the wooden one. Oh, uh, get out of the menu. God, that's so. <laughs> is that like purposeful? Like just an extra, like make it annoying? Like because also, this is such a pedantic, like. Yeah, totally. We should also kindle this bonfire. Uh, there's so many weird things, especially in this game, that are more confusing even than like anything else. Um. We'll deal with kindling later. You're going to want to kindle this bonfire, though. We, you, you still have nine Estus, so you're not really in a bad position there. All right. You're good. Oh, I did it? All okay. Sitting down is all you have to do. That resets everyone, and and you're good. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. God damn it. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, and... Yeah, let's just get... Let's just get you set up with this bow and arrow so we don't have to think about it when we get to this bridge. It's actually something you could probably go buy later, but we're already in really good shape when I get it, you know? We will probably also want to get that repair box, but I'm not too worried about it yet. There is a uh, weapon degradation in this game. That is a thing. Forget how much of an issue it is in Dark Souls, though. Come on. Come on, little one. I bet time is fucking for me. Yeah, it is. Because I love these games, man. We haven't even gotten into the shit. This, the area, like, past this one is really when it gets shitty. Even though you have gotten past that area, so I wonder... And you got the Drake Sword. I wonder how far past this second boss you got. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering. So that means you beat the Taurus Demon on the bridge, right? I think so. I beat the guys on the roof, the two... Oh, you beat the gargoyles? Yeah. Oh, so you are three bosses in. This was easily four or five years ago. At yeah, this point. yeah, yeah. Oh, there you are. 
still keeping your marbles all together. Yes, it was. <laughs> that was a Jurassic Park reference. Uh, I, I often like to quote Jurassic Park out of context. Oh, yeah. Okay. Get the go to the get the bow first, and then and then spend the rest on. I hope you have enough to uh, dex to wield it, and then I think you just want the standard arrow. Yeah, just get the standard arrow. Hit, uh, hit down or up. Yeah, just get all. all right. Okay. Um. What's the setup here? Semi noob with an advisor. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much. Actually, yeah, a hundred percent. Like mostly noob. Yeah, like majority I, noob. I played this a little bit when it came out several years ago uh, with Kellen. If you know Kellen, basically in my ear the whole time, telling right. me how to do it. I'm trying not to give him too many hints, but I am. I'm ha holding some hands here. I mean, if you can imagine not knowing any of this, you know. I mean, it's gonna. I mean, especially in the beginning, it's yeah, like this is a guy. <laughs> uh, go. Um, no, see, do you know how many That's times funny. I did that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I feel like just kill him. He I'm, doesn't have a shield. I, I literally just forgot the entire control oh. scheme. <laughs> <laughs> that like reset my whole brain. <laughs> okay, go back. Don't go that way. That's the way you came uh, before. Yeah, you want to go up the stairs, but go into your menu and just I want to see if you have what it takes to wield the uh, to wield the bow and arrow, and we want to equip it anyways. I think. Okay, so hit circle, go into your equipment, yeah, change equipment, and in that empty slot next to the sword, we're just going to scroll over it. Yeah, you sh I think you're fine. Hit the right directional button. Oh, get out of the menu. Okay, I think you're good. You haven't equipped arrows, but it doesn't have an X next to your name. Okay, so unequip that bow for now, um, and I'm going to stop helping you out. Just gonna move through the next section. I'm not gonna tell you shit. Hit uh, unequip. Yeah. Now you're ready to go back to the bonfire, towards the bonfire, and towards the new area. Right. And I'm gonna shut the fuck up about exactly what you need to do from here on out. Let you enjoy the surprises that await, even though you did this once before. I have no memory. I remember like, I kind of remember the level design, like not the map. I just remember. You have eight Estus. I don't think you need to sit down. All right. Because that's gonna make, make all those everybody guys come, come back. back. Yeah, you can if you want, but. <sighs> and yes, thank you, Amanda, for posting the donation link. If you would like to donate, uh, donations do get split with my guest, and uh, greatly appreciate it. It's fucking from Friday. Nice, you can fuck about the fireball. This is my new issue. It's like being terrible. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> it's fun to do to them what they do to you. Yes. <laughs> that gate does not open. That's just a message on the ground. You'll see those. Right. Now, these are left by people online. I always had trouble understanding the messages and the ghosts that are running around. Those are uh, people okay, who have so, yeah, played you it. You can leave messages for people. They're kind of controlled how you, like, you only have a certain, like, set, set a word bank that you can use to leave messages. Right. Um, it's just like wait, an wait. online component. You can be invaded if you're human, which you are not right now. Um, you have to use a humanity to go human. There's just different elements to going human. One of those elements is you can kindle your bonfire, which gives you access to more Estus flasks. So that is a treasure, yeah. Um, nice, you got some black fire, but that's why I was like, don't buy that shit, because if you really want that shit, you can find, you can find it. it. Yeah. You want to save your money for more important stuff, like equipment, and you know, or leveling up, because it's the same currency to level up. You little sneaker oh, bitch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Um... Is there, I feel like I'm, because I played Bloodborne a little bit more than this, so my instinct is always to, like, step away from hits, even though I have the shield. Is that yeah, so you useless? Don't need, do yeah, I don't need to do that? Yeah, you can use that shield to tank the hits and stuff. Okay. This light is going to be the death of me. Oh, wow, Why I just noticed it, now? and I feel like I'm having a so seizure. <laughs> it keeps doing that. It's one of the lights that's infected, I think. I guess we could just 
No, this is still Oh, well, it's Dark Souls. Let's get a little darker here. <laughs> it just threw that guy off. Nice. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, you keep trying to go forward. There's nothing. This is yeah, nothing. Yeah, that's a dead end. This is, it's I think, also... the treasure, everything. Yeah, you got what you needed to get from here. Oh, this is just a room. Yeah. Okay. Can't wait for Holden's new bonfire Whole run game. this game. Holy shit. I have thought about speedrunning this just to get a personal PB and see what that's like. Um, I'm sure it would be horrible. <laughs> Woo! Sure, it would be a disaster, but I would just if if I were to speed run a game, um, I know, right? Loving that ragdoll physics. I love this game for the ragdoll. So when you walk through bodies and stuff, they yeah, that's what people <laughs> mean by ragdoll physics. You get them stuck on your shoe like toilet paper. Mm-hmm. Hey, fuckers. <laughs> nice, good work. The sneaky. Oh, see what one's fucking throwing some bombs. Yeah, it's better. the one's <laughs> PB, not PP. Speaking of which, you probably want to order a pizza later. Oh yeah, I'm done. Oh show. Oh god. Just okay. let me know when you want to start drinking too. It's up to you. Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Oh. Uh, definitely wanna. Well, I'll just probably wanna kill. <laughs> Turn all the lights off for a spooky soul session. Yeah, especially if they're blinking. Actually, it's spookier when the lights are going boop, 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 but just blinking in the fucking side Can they the climb down ladders? Yes, they Other can. Fuckers. That hurt the guy? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm. Alright, just get aggressive, man. It's, it, I guess that's a lot of the game too. Just understanding when to be aggressive and when to when to use patience, right? I, I mean, I guess was... that's a lot of games, but um, that was a good time. They're both kind of standing there. They're just gonna keep throwing fire bombs at you, but you just gotta fucking get in there. No way, you need someone there to feed you the pizza. I understand that. I understand that that uh, instinct. God damn, maybe I should do need someone here to feed me pizza. We need to hire someone, an assistant maybe. Hello. I like the one with surf over winch. Yeah. Surf is unique. Oh, Dark Souls. There's so many things, you know, to say, to not say, but we gotta let you experience it. Plus, I don't think you've died yet, which is a crime. Gold Pine Resin, very useful item. You can um, apply that to your weapon, gives it a lightning effect. Ooh. Um, yeah. Hey, fucker. And, you know, a large part of this game is learning about kiting and uh, how you can draw enemies out. If you get surrounded by, like, three of those guys at once, you're going to probably ha get, have a bad time. Who's there's that? There's someone above. Yeah, maybe shooting arrows. I probably shouldn't miss anything, but. I saw the arrow, so I knew he was up there. right there. There's a little tower next to you. Uh, amazing job kiting those enemies, though. I'll tell you what. Um, once you... Uh, handle this person you'll this this undead you will uh i think have a pretty make pretty easy work of um the fucker at the bottom of the stairs now because you drew out those other two so this is definitely pro handling this area i i fought through this area multiple times before i made it through the thing is that you are comparable with with the basic mechanics i just feel like this game is so hard for new players if you don't have an understanding of those just super basic mechanics yeah, because that's really all I have. Like, yeah. I don't remember any of these levels or anything. I just remember basic, like, yeah. philosophy of the game. For sure. <laughs> up or down? Choices. I feel like up is always forward. Possibly. You, you look terrible. <laughs> all right. <laughs> don't want to take on the Black Knight just yet? I just yet? want to see. Maybe there's, like, a get super strong and healthy thing. Up. Oh, no! <laughs> 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 Tricks and traps. All right, you motherfucker. Yeah, there you go. You got. Uh, yeah, you probably want to heal. Jared's kind of crushing right now. I agree. Good. Um, uh, I guess I can see. No, this is all way more. All right. Would that be useful to undead eat? I guess I could see. Oh, okay. Well, you just found a secret. <sighs> You just stumbled your ass. <laughs> I literally just fucking, secret. fucking tripped like a 
Harpo marks. <laughs> it's like some real life. Uh, so this is a scary kind of spot to be, but there is, I believe, some sort of a drop down or something just, to a secret. So just look around, be very careful, see that little pathway down there. <clears throat> Whoa. All right. I don't know if you're supposed to be here. Um, do you have to jump to that? That sounds preposterous. Oh, yeah, this goes nowhere. Well, I haven't even gone over jumping with you, so I don't know if that's going to work too hot. I think you just drop down. Yeah, I think you just drop on it. Yep. Yep. <coughs> and see, you took a little fall damage, so just remember that, too. Can <laughs> we start a counter for Harpo <laughs> Marks references in the stream? Yeah. Do I have to do a push-up for a Harpo Marks? <laughs> My own Harpo Marks reference, too. Is there no, like, <laughs> item to get there? I guess that's just Oh, a it's this motherfucker again. Right. So All just right. Looped, you just looped around. So you I either, feel like I should have gotten... So there's a stairway up, or... Um, every time they reference Harpo, take a drink. All right. I'll fucking do that. I'll get into that shit. I'm going to make sure no one from work is, like, bugging me up? before I... Before you do this? Or are you going to fight this guy? I am. I mean, what else is there to do? Um, the stairwell that led you up, that you fell off of, that, that you can go up, or you can fight this guy. I'm going to fight him. All right. Let's do it. Now, this would be an excellent opportunity to backstab. So target him. Walk very slowly up to him, because there's, there's a bit of some stealthy going on. I love stealth. Um, can I do a heavy stealth? Can I do a heavy stealth or so can only you pull, light? You get right behind him and then hold down R one and hopefully it'll back just down. Hopefully it works. Great. Yeah. Ha! Right. Nothing. Did, did not work. <laughs> did not work. Okay. I have the high ground. <laughs> you just picked a fucking oh my bad God. fight. You just oh. picked a bad fight. <laughs> See how little you're doing. <laughs> oh my God! Damn it. <laughs> and going up this stairwell too. This is really Oh, this was bad. Here here we make our last stand. <laughs> God, oh, he's fast. So good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are no fucking joke. Running in here, good call. Good use of space. You might want to heal. I love Hawaiian pizza. I think it's great. Backstab. So if you got right behind him and held R1 just then, you would have backstabbed him. And that would have been so you say. real cool. <laughs> so that's what you want to wait for. You want to wait for him to do something like that, and then it takes him a second, and then you can get your hits in, or you can get right behind you. No push-ups for you this day. That's right, everyone. Rooting for mm. Daddy Jared right now. This is his first real test, I feel like, in the game. Um, Yeah, nice. Good, good, good spatial awareness. Getting in there. <laughs> Guys, this guy is no joke. This guy, this guy will fuck you up. This guy also has a potential to drop an amazing sword. Like if you got this sword, so Skulker, when he did reset his game, I think he he fought this knight and and, and defeated him, and was lucky enough to get the uh, Black Knight sword drop. Whoa! Boom! You lucky piece of shit. Tight night chunk. So you didn't get the sword. Wow, I cannot believe you didn't die this time. That's insane. That's insane. He did the same dumbass thing I did. That you did, yeah. Harpo reference number two. Uh, Props in chat, because that was... Oh, yeah, yeah, quit and reload. <laughs> Should we quit and reload? Okay, so, so quit out. But he got the chunk. Does he need to get the... Does he need to quit and reload? Daddy Jared. What happened? Joe's oh, chat. Joe. Thanks, y'all. What? Quit and reload just because I didn't get the sword? No, I think it doesn't matter because you did get the chunk as an item. So, And the best shield in the game, too. Yeah, so you can drop a sword or a shield that is amazing. His drop will spawn where he fell off if he drops something. But he did. He already got the chunk, so does does it matter? I don't think quit and reload works for random drops. Okay, cool. Um, great, and now you can get this item in here. I can't believe you can just beat that guy. I mean, like, let's like that. Too. Let's that say is so beat amazing. is a very strong well, word. You sparred I, with him and didn't I, die up in the thing. Okay, blue tears room. Well, why don't we look at rings here for a second? Why don't we go into the menu? I don't think you have any other rings. So you're gonna want to equip that one. I'll grant you that I maybe tricked him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hit the R trigger, yeah, or whatever. All right, go to okay. So 
This is where you'll equip, uh, I believe these are bolts, these are arrows. No, no, these are bolts, these are arrows. You have a bow, not a crossbow. So right. you're gonna equip arrows. Um, uh, these are your rings, so. Yeah, you, you can, uh, yeah, so, yeah. Let's do the ring, I just got a ring, right? Boost defense while HP is low. So that's pretty good, right? Handy. That's handy, yeah, helpful. Now go to your arrows, and then uh, you can go ahead and equip your arrows in just so we don't have to do anything. Like, yeah. But don't worry, you're not gonna even have your bow equipped. Getting more reload. Yes, reload. I mean, it's not a big deal if you do it or not, because it just saves your progress. So why don't we? I mean, let's let's quit and reload, just to, just for these people's sanity. Do I need to go to a? No, just quit and reload. It's it's the way that this game works with saves and stuff. It will automatically save exactly where you're at by quitting and reload. So hit start. Go to the final. Yeah, hit that. Go to quick game. Which, by the way, we're gonna want to do this when we end our session, or 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 it could fuck us up, right? Yeah. So it just hit start. Yeah, just go into load, and Lord Fucker, and you should be good. <laughs> uh, now head up the stair. It would probably be up the stairs, but I don't think you'll see an item there because you did get your chunk. So yeah, you're good. Yeah. All right. Look down uh, off the ledge. Don't don't fall off the ledge. Just look down. Yeah, there's no item there, right? No. Nope. Yeah, that's it. That's I all can't she believe wrote. he just can't ran off the fucking boss. wall. Okay, so now you only have one Estus Flask, and you are close to a boss. So I'm kind of like wondering what you should do here. Can you open that door right there, first of all? Yes, because you have the Master Key. Again, how huge is that? So this... Would that have been uh, like, okay. oh, wait. I think you need to go sit at a bonfire. Yeah, you have so many souls, too. Why don't we go... Let's, let's go back. I agree. Sit down at a bonfire. Level the fuck up trounce through this the black knight permanent dies by the way um i believe i'm pretty sure he permanent dies um trounce through this area like you did the first time you don't even have to climb up worry and go about over those there fucks. like i'm glad you cleared all that you actually did this in kind of the perfect order um so anyways yeah we're just gonna go back to back to so the, long i know right this this is a brutal early game run for new people <laughs> this is really rough for new people what i forget i don't even know what, what that, that is that i forget what that is you saw the power and fury of daddy jared and realized he didn't want any part of that fuck yeah dude that was awesome Actually, have you eaten, like, lunch or whatever? No, I had that salad that I've been, like, taking a few bites out of, but should not we, really. Should we go ahead and order a fucking pizza? Yeah, if you want. I'm down. I might do that. I might just do that. I went with vitality and strength. What do we think? Um. Yeah, I like that. Endurance might be good. I would, uh... Maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, do it, do, do it. I feel like that's, you're good. yeah. You're good. That's what, like, my, like, go-to. next time, I would do endurance. Yeah, right? like, my, so. like, go-to is, like, always one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I'll, right. like, make, like, strength vitality is my number one priority. Right. So then I, like, always go to those. As long as you're doing vit. But then, like, hit the others every other time or so. As long as you're doing vit, endurance, strength, you should be completely fine. Uh, now that you've done it once, it's a three-minute run. Yeah, I or, agree, J-Man Funk. Also, thanks for joining us. I, I see you're, you're new, and um, welcome to the Hold Nader's host stream. Welcome and aboard. Friday. You're in for a real treat after this. We do Japanese dating sims, which is a real fucking hoot and a holler. Someone else kindled the bonfire. You last rest dead, so you got a free Estus. Gotcha. Okay, let's talk That's about this. That's one of those online thing? Yeah, yeah, let's talk about this. Okay, so, in, you, see you revive with five Estus blasts? Mm -hmm. Let's change that. Go to reverse hollowing. Pop your main, yes. Yes. This will make me a man. Okay, so this will make you human, which means you can be invaded, okay? You see up here how it's all like lit up or whatever? Yeah. Now go to Kindle. I'm a lady, I forgot. Yeah. Yes. Go to Kindle. No humanity. Okay, hit okay. Hit circle, circle out. You have to actually um, eat a humanity. Is that an uh, item in that I have? An item, yeah, yeah. This is how I feel about Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Thank you, Manda, for posting the donation link. We're trying to get Jared Cab Fair home because it's a fucking nightmare outside, and he's been gra gracious enough to come all the way out here. Use um, item. Yeah, use item. So if you'd like to donate, I think we're about... Um, I live again. Let's see, 25. We're about 18 bucks away from him paying his Cab Fair. If anybody'd like to donate, we just need 18 bucks to get Jared home. 
in the warmth of a cab um, and not via a fucking shitty train. The horde, which is, are, and they're all still broken, uh, right? The train surrounding here. Uh, Kendall. I did. You did? Okay, great. See, your Estus, you now have 11. Woo! Which normally you'll have 10. So every time you kindle the bonfire, it increases it by 5. 10 is where, I, I think there's a cap, Thank though. you, Jake. I think I think mm -hmm. only the main bonfire you can increase past ten. Mm -hmm. So now you have ten S's to work with every time you sit at this bonfire. This bonfire you're going to come back to a lot. There's a lot of winding shortcuts that like right. lead back to this one. So this is one you definitely want to kindle. All right, leave. And uh, let's keep Terry Fourth. Right? Is Terry? Is that what it is? Terry Fourth. Sally. Sally Fourth. Uh, I think. I, I think both. Terry's an I think both. Sally's. Uh, Sally's the one that's moving in the battlefield. Sally Forth is the most common, but yeah. I believe you can Terry. Terry or Sally? Someone give us a lore behind Terry and Sallying Forth? Well, what does... that's where we're fucking at on this guy? Because there's the part in... Uh, you were just talking about Evil Dead, and I remember in yes. Army of Darkness... New Wizard and the Bruiser dropped uh, yesterday on Evil Dead. The first two films. Get out of here. Uh, I always remembered Evil Ash in Army of Darkness. I feel like said it differently than I always thought the phrase was. That's when I learned there's more than one. Uh huh. Who are you? <laughs> it's good that you're you're you are. I will Google Wallet you ten dollars. Okay. I don't even know how what that how that works. <laughs> but if you like, you can just click the donate button in the info section as well. That's a good way to do it. But I will look for your Google Wallet or or Venmo. Um, Venmo works better for me if you'd like to to, to Venmo donate. That's very nice. Uh, that would be cool. Um, I, I think I'm just at Holden Dash McNeely. My name. Thank you. Venmo, yes, thank you. Venmo does need to figure out. A, I mean, I guess I've way, never like really fucked it up, people? but like it's I scary. never trust it. Yeah, I never trust it. I'm always like, it's not gonna work. Well, did you watch any Ash vs. Evil Dead? Not yet, Cali Ghost. Also, hey, Cali Ghost, how you doing? Good to see you. Shut up. Shut up. Um, not, no, I have not yet. I'm, v I'm very excited to, though. I've heard it's fucking awesome. So I need to catch it. I'm trying, oh, to, you trying to get bitch. caught up on some stuff right now. We're, we're watching Black Mirror. Have you watched any Black Mirror yet, uh, uh, Jared? Uh, yes, I've watched the first three of the new season. Uh, that... Same here. I literally watched the third one last night with Lexi. So, um... Yeah. I have to say, I was like, I don't want to say I was disappointed by the Jodie Foster directed one, but it is my it was least not. favorite. It, it, she, she, it started with a lot of promise, and then it really bungled at the end. I was like, what? She wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? It I just feel like it never got into the idea they really wanted to explore. Yeah, like, it was it a lot of setup, sell, and then they ran out of time. It, they didn't really sell what it was like, what happens at the end, correctly. Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was just kind of like, no, this is, that, that wouldn't happen. I've had like, plenty of fights with my parents that right. don't end in this. And I get, I mean, I oh, get I what they were trying to do. Oh, I forgot that Because they were trying, I mean, I don't want to spoil too much, so we should probably stop talking about yeah. it. But, but I, I get what they were trying to, to do with, like, desensitizing, but it just didn't sell. It didn't work. And it was a little cheesy. <clears throat> I think if they'd given her more time, because I thought the directing was really great. Yeah. And I love Jodie Foster, but it, it was just some cool stuff. It was telling that more of a script issue than anything else. I've been well, watching, binge watching the shit out of Ash vs. Evil. That's awesome. I need to, I need to watch it. I will uh, watch it soon. But that said, the space fleet episode. I was gonna ask you about that because the like, best. I so thought of you too. Episode. Such a, such of a Star television. Trek, <laughs> such a Star Trek fan. It, it's really good. The first episode was really good. The best was the last. Good. I need to rewatch San Junipero, though. I was so... Have you not seen it? I was just really drunk when we watched it. Oh, yeah. You should be sober. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I just don't really, like... I remember even being emotionally affected by it when I was, like, that drunk, but it mm -hmm. didn't really stick with me because I was pretty drunk. My thing, and I, I think it's, like, a brilliant <laughs> episode. Like, I love San Junipero. Uh, I don't get why it's the one that gets, like all the love were and i don't know if it's just because like overall it's sweet when most of them are mean uh-huh <laughs> like there's no evil turn in san junipero it's just kind of nice right um and i'm i don't know like i like it and it's really great but i'm just kind of confused why everyone like holds that one up as the pinnacle of really? black mirror it's like really oh well i don't think it's necessarily the pinnacle but it was probably the best episode of that season and it just had a very maybe i watch them all out of order charged. too so like i miss like well i mean the best episode's the fucking pig episode like by far the first one that like, everyone the greatest episode of a tv show ever it ends sweet and the mystery of what's happening is a slow burn yeah 
I agree. I have nothing against the episode. I think it's wonderful. I have not taught him to I'm kick. Just confused. Forward and I believe R two will kick. Oh, maybe not. Maybe L two. Forward and L two. Like at the same time. No. What is it? Wait. Chat. It's forward and and R one. Okay, there you go. That will. So if you're fighting a dude and he's on a ledge, you can do that to kick him off a ledge. So your stam is. Remember that stamina management. Also yeah, I know. I just him? saw it. Target him. So I, I was going to say, make a couple of mentions of things going on. Like, I think a big part of Dark Souls, Ford and R1. Thank you, uh, J-Man Funk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the... Bitch. <laughs> one of the important things for Dark Souls to know is just the phrase, get behind him. Get behind it. Mm -hmm. A lot of what you're doing is trying to circle a little bit more. You're kind of walking in and out of range, which is all right. right but he's sort of got his shield back up by that point, you know. So it's not. I don't. I'm darting too much. Um. Yeah. It's. It's like you maybe like and yeah. It's more about circling, kind of like getting behind them and really taking advantage, you know. Because mm -hmm. then you're like right up on them. I think it's always trying to be like, oh, you should stay away from me. I'm a big scary monster. But really, you want to kind of get up in their bullshit a lot of times, you know? And yeah. you'll be safe if you know how to shield and roll. Also, you have that shield. So you're kind of like getting out of range so he won't hit you. But you ha do have a shield that will protect the hit. And again, right. remember that stamina management. Like, because you would get out of range, but you're holding your shield up. So your stamina is still creeping up. When mm -hmm. you, That's when you lower it and, like, kind of let it pop back up and then get back in. So if you are going to step back, that's not a bad strategy, but just, you you know, use it to either heal or get your stamina all the way back up before you get back in. Okay. Right? All right. Up or down? Up to you. And, yes, you also kick his shield away by hitting forward in R1. So it'll pop his shield back when you kick him. Okay. I don't utilize the kick enough. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you and J-Man Funk that right now. So that's why I didn't really teach him to kick. And that's on me. Uh, I should utilize the kick more than I do. Usually when somebody has a shield, what I try to do is kind of let them kind of work around their shield, get behind them, and hit them. That's kind of more my thing. All right. Okay. Got a fog gate right here. Oh, get him. Get that thing. Wait, where'd it go? go get oh, thing. the shiny. He's going to disappear. Where is it? It's right there. I thought I had it. Get up. Hit him. What Target are... him. Target him. Oh, I have to kill it? Yeah. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. Got him. Uh, I was trying to grab him. <laughs> nice. Good work. You already have a couple Titanite chunks. Those are big uh, weapon upgrade items. And Twinkling Titanite as well. So, yeah. Those things will disappear. Um, so you want to, if you see one, you immediately want to sprint after him and kill him so you can get his precious items. All right. So this will be like a boss or a new area or something, right? Potentially, yes. All right. All of those things. Ah, heading down, I see. I like to traverse. I hear you. I, I do too. I like to kind of check out all my options, see what's going on. Interesting. Big tower. God, I love this game. I love this game. There's nothing better than this game. Maybe at the end we can play some Dark Souls board game on stream. I just picked it up. It's a lot of rules. <laughs> the Bloodborne <laughs> card game, I learned so quickly. Like, I, I read through it last night. Um, you know, completely baked out of my mind as well. Sure. And, Fuck oh, that! Oh no, you aggro Hamill! I Hamel. know, I now knew it! I knew it! For you, and he uh, to his tooth. That's a giant dragon tooth. That is Havel, uh, one of my favorite characters in this game. Period. He will drop Havel's ring if you kill him. Um, there are definitely some ways to cheese him, as well. Um, uh, it might be something you may just want to come back to later. All up to you. I try to kill him actually this early. Cause, Cause, his drop is so huge, but you want to backstab him really to kill him, and I don't know if uh, you haven't really been learning that. So, see, because you're taking off nothing from <sighs> doing that. The real damage comes from backstabbing him. Ooh, you died. There it is. Fantastic. Well, those would be pretty easy souls to pick up. Yeah. Avil the Rock Johnson, yeah. That I love Avil, man, the best. But he is a fucking motherfucker, and I would say you might want to. You know, deal with him later. Dispatch him later. 
But there you go. That's the kind of shit I don't want to just tell you about. You know, I could have said, hey, we go down. As soon as I saw him, I remembered. I've yep. seen people fight him. <laughs> I mean, again, his drop is so important. Havel's ring severely affects your equip load in a, in a phenomenal way. It essentially makes it so you can wield way bigger shit. So we will want to get that sooner than later, but not this soon. Because I don't think you're ready. I, I, what I, we need to do is get you backstabbing for I need to practice backstabbing. Yeah. Because that's really, early game, that's like the only way to really beat Havel is by uh, rolling a lot and getting behind him and backstabbing him. That's, you can't really do the, do the right amount of damage by just swiping at him. Yeah. This level, I think every hit from Havel is a one shot. Yes, Shabop, I agree. That's why I'm saying, you know, we'll come back, maybe get you some better armor, make it so that it's a two shot, <laughs> you know? Um, this one good thing with Havel is he is really slow. That is a really, you know, if you work that area correctly, um, you can really kind of get get the you know get him how you want him in the fight. You know, where are these fuckers They're coming from? Throwing those fire bombs from above. So I would even just fucking at this point too. You can start to get to the point where you're just kind of sprinting past shit. So maybe kill oh, this guy. guy. Up there. I would almost. Oh, you have him too. God yeah, damn it! Get far enough away. Yeah, you just circle him like a shark, exactly. But he is a good tutorial for the backstab, so Havel, Havel is. Uh, not this guy. Just hit him one more time. Is my, like, sword dying? Like, I'm doing no damage yeah, to yeah. anybody. I don't think so. I think you're good. You're doing good damage. That was your two hit on each of these guys. I don't think you've got degradation issues. What I do think you can do, though, is so you can run through the house and just, like, don't even deal with the those guys and, like, run up the stairs, right? So instead of going down that way, go through the house and just run up the stairs past those guys. Let's try it. This You may die, but... Is there a run? Uh... I would just run. Yeah, circle is run. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hold down circle to run. This uh... He's a fucker, though. Yeah, that's the only problem with this. Doing this. Okay, great. Then go past, up the steps. Oh, yeah. Get your souls. And maybe just dispatch these two dudes this way. See? Oh, you didn't kill him? Oh boy. Oh. <clears throat> well, at least you got your souls back. Deuces. So you got your souls back at least. This room is bad. I was doing really good, and this room is cursed yeah, for me. Yeah, this room is bad. No, you're doing, this is, you're doing way, you're still doing way better. I also told you to do that. If you want to take your time, dispatch each dude, maybe that's the best way to go. I was just saying, you know, there there is an element to this game that is run, run, run. Like, kind of clear out a room the first time, get to the boss, and then once you kind of get to the boss... Just keep going. Uh, and you die, like, you just start running. Get off of me. You just start running through shit, you know? You just start, like, sprinting through areas because you're like, I don't want to deal with this. Like this one, for instance. But the thing is, now you've aggroed them, they'll be right behind you. You kind of have to keep the momentum, you know? Let's see. Yeah. Now you're speed running, Jared. Oh. The only problem is the guy in the stairs. But you did get past him. One more. Oh, great. And just keep yeah, going. Up the stairs. Oh, but yeah. This is the problem. Getting those souls is so important. But then just go up the steps. Just roll past these guys. Yeah, up. Yes. Good work. Heal. Go through the door. Hurry, hurry. They're still behind you. No, oh, the door's way up. There you go. Bye, fuckers. I think they won't. They can't get to you from there. No, they don't. Yep. They can hit you if you're like That's right. Aggravating. Yeah, yeah. So they're good. Now they're now they're no no problem. This looks like a. Behind you. Ooh, hello. Alright, good work. That was the wise choice. I will say that. Ah, your fat run went crazy. Yeah, that's why endurance is so important right now. Step zero of it of equipment load. But you all, I mean, that's why you're going to be wanting to use that shield more than, like, rolling. You know what I'm saying? Right. 
I would heal. Oh, damn, they dropped the crossbow. I don't know how well useful the crossbow is against that dragon's tail, though. You're coming on the Drake Sword, which is going to drastically improve your quality of life when it comes to weaponry. Um. <sighs> Jared, describe the most unlikely place you have ever made, made whoopee. whoopee. Says Jake Young. Um, like home. <laughs> She's a man, baby. Chia. Hey, Chia. Save balls from freezing. Thank you so much, Chia. Two, one, three. Holy shit. I think we're eight bucks away from your cabin. Wow. Isn't that great? God. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, Chia, give me the shit. Ch -ch -ch Chia. All right. Here you go. Boss fight. Get in there. Get him in the dick. This is going great. Uh, Jake, to answer your question, the walk-in fridge of my high school cafeteria. Oh, that sounds awful. That sounds so bad. Was it just terrible sex or was it? Oh fun? yeah, but what wasn't terrible sex when you were in high school? Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, I would. Uh, I guess no sex, which is what I had in high school. Uh, zero sex. Oh, thank you so much, Chia two one three, Jared, and I both really appreciate it. Um, yeah, you got stomped. So that's the problem with fat rolling. I would say. You might want to, if you, okay. Either, Let's re-equip. Either maybe. use the shield more. Or, either, either use the shield more. Or, uh, let's unequip some armor and use the shield less. Or even maybe unequip the shield. You want to two-hand this guy and roll more? Yeah, I feel that? like the shield isn't doing me anything. Okay, so let's go to the pause menu and just unequip the shield. Just hit circle and X, or square. Okay. Uh, circle out all the way. Now to go two-handed, hit triangle. All right, now you're two-handed. Now roll. Still slow. Still slow. All right, let's unequip. Um, let's unequip something else. Maybe the, maybe, sure. All right, hit circle. There's your fast roll. Feel good? Yeah, that's better. All right, let's maybe try re-equipping the gloves and see if you're still fast rolling, by the way, after you're done with this. Yeah, don't worry about holding that L button. You want to roll now. You don't want to. You don't want to shield with the sword. Yeah, just make sure you don't roll off a bridge. Look at that. Pretty good, right? All right. All right. Shit. Does this mean we need to go Dex? Well, not really, because you can two hand this Y and just be like a monster. All right. Put those gloves back on. See if you fast roll them. All these dudes throw fire at you. They can't get me. Right where, there. Are my, where are my gloves? Down one. Right there. Yeah. All right. Try to roll. Ooh. That's a little slower, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, take off the gloves. Well, it's sad online services will conclude for Demon Souls by in February this year. Yeah, I need to jump on playing fucking Demon Souls for that. Actually. Let's try to get that in. I still have that PS3 from Dr. Mm. It's alright, remember that roll. Heal up, I'd say, before you get through this. Now I think you're running a little faster too now. Maybe. stuff. That's, uh, look at that. Just zip, whipping past these dudes. Perfect. As long as you just, I think your main problem now is gravity, right? Just like rolling too hard off of something. Right. Alright, let's give it a take two, but look, I mean, way better, right? To get through that gauntlet, at least. Yeah, that was faster. Right. Um, You so will, I think, every... Oh, oh God, go damn that. it, I forgot yeah, what are you doing? all the game. I forgot the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, he almost died. <laughs> so you, you lit up like that because of your ring, by the way. You were so low health that you had the higher defense just then. Also, I think those archers are still up there, so you're going to have to dispatch them every time. Cool. Cool game. You just downloaded Demon Souls today? On what? On Fantasy Game 9? On PS3? You can't get it on PS4, right? No! My first fight with this guy, he fell off. Oh, if only... I think I lucked out with that too much already. Already down to five Estus. Do I 
these guys are nothing. I would be more aggressive with these guys. Just hit them with the two swings. Oh. There you go. My favorite part of this game is when Jared randomly forgets where he is and what he's uh, playing and who Holden is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you might need to heal up one more time, buddy. So this this might just be a practice run with how few Estes you have. Um, but that's fine. Getting used to the new alignment. Yeah. Oh, also you can hold circle and mm -hmm. down to like slide down these ladders. Or, or yeah, circle. Got it. Real circle or fake circle? Real circle. B uh, in Xbox. I do have an Xbox One controller over there, but fuck it. Come on! What's the fun in that? Do you prefer Xbox to PlayStation controllers? Um, I just know Xbox. Stamina is super low. Great. All right, get in there. He can knock you off pretty easy, too. Yeah, get in there. This dude, don't be so scared of this guy. He's easy. Just get him. Just fucking attack him. Fuck him. Guys, the music, everything about this is trying to freak you out. See, he can't even hit you if you're right up in his dick. See? <laughs> yeah! You stunned him. You're doing great. You might want to heal soon. Definitely want to heal soon. <laughs> Run away! Camera is a bitch in this fight, by the way. Ooh, risky, dude. Mm. Also, if you tap square the right way twice, it, you can do like a double heal, which you didn't want to do just then, but before that you wanted to do it. Pass, get him. It's your time, it's your moment. It's all right. Mm, thought I could. Yeah, you you almost were. You almost were able. Yeah, remember that roll. That roll's huge for you right now. Yeah, want to heal? Bad. It's okay. Roll. Nice. See? That's it. That's the timing. You got it. Roll. Just a few more hits. Ooh. <laughs> Heal up. Get in there. It's your time. Yes. One more. Yeah. Ah. Woo. Good. Flammy work. controller. I bet, right? Now you're feeling it. Get that fucking adrenaline pumping, must, right? Must win. Isn't that awesome? <sighs> that fucking sick, dude? Fucking took him out. Um. Oh, yeah, you have a lot of souls. No Estus. No Estus. Is there going to be a bonfire or just beat a guy? Uh, I feel like they should give me something. Yes and no. Okay, so... Uh, okay, this gets a little hairy here, all right, Jared? It's gonna be a hard thing it's in there. Not, it's not gonna be easy, okay, to get to the next bonfire, okay? <laughs> and because you ran past all those guys, it's not necessarily gonna be easy, easy to, to go, go back, back either. Uh, but you have a homeward bone, so why don't we go into your bone? Homeward bone will take me back? Yeah, homeward yeah, bone will take you back that. to the bonfire. We're gonna do that. We're gonna play it safe here. I, I, you, if you had Estus, I would maybe try to... Do you have Homeward Bone? That's the question, though. Yes, you have one Homeward Bone. Use it. Yes. Now return Bye. to with your souls. So, yeah, that's what we want to do. <sighs> All right. Sit down there. Level up. Good work. Let's get some endurance, man. Yeah, I'd go two points in that. I'd do, I think, a couple more. More endurance? No, no, I'm saying a oh. couple more in general. Maybe one into strength, one into vitality. You can do one more. One more into strength? Yeah, dude, that's gonna be great. All right. Yeah. Hit uh, X. That's gonna be great. Went to go grab a Whopper. Did I miss the first death? Absolutely. Havel you did. took his took life me hard. Out. And then the Taurus Demon took him out once, but then we you bested him. Uh, I would say you're 100% good to go. So now you're just going to want to trek back to the Taurus Demon. And you'll see exactly why I was cautious when we get there. It's going to be tricky. They're just going to be tricky just little, little demons. There's a bit of a bridge run thing that you have to do. Bit of a bridge dragon fireball Sitch. problem. Yeah, that 
that is just a little risky and you have so many souls I just didn't want to but but again the benefit for you and the kind of the the what kind of almost saddens me a little bit is that you don't get, get that to deal punishment. with that punishment that you know so many of us who blindly ran through this game dealt with and i think oh, i mean no more if you if you have one person next to you who knows what they're doing in this game this game is like 50 percent easier you know like i would agree. that was my frustration the whole time is that i would spend hours not getting anywhere and that right. was not that's not necessarily fun for me right. playing video games so and really you know the real i feel like tests are in front of you like this is beating the taurus demon it's like if you can't get past the taurus demon yeah souls games might not be for you you know and and i think that it's the definitely a good first basic trial but r the real fucking shit is like ahead for sure like that is nothing compared um Ooh, that's pretty sunlight behind you. I don't think you can open that door yet, but you can try. Ah, who goes there? <laughs> you're a little, you're a little Don't smoky. kill this guy. <laughs> Just telling you right now, don't kill this guy. Uh, because it's Solaire. Uh, Everyone knows Solaire. Uh, He's the praise of the sun guy. Oh, this guy. Yeah. Arby's yeah. makes fun of this guy. He'll help you. <laughs> Now that I am Who does? Dead, Arby's. Arby's does? Land. Yeah, they love... They, Arby's loves video games. Arby's social media. Whoever runs Arby's social media. You find that strange. That's amazing. Well, you should. Praise the whole... Tommy said oh, what yeah. is trying yeah, to trick me. <laughs> <laughs> just run out all of his dialogue. Yay, you got the praise of the sun. Oh, that's just the... On the bottom oh, there. Uh, I have a proposition. Yes. You so, got it. The way I see it, in a land... So what do you say? So he has like a long and interesting quest line. He's gonna pop back up in our in our story multiple times. White sign soap soapstones what you use to summon people to help you. Okay. Or is it what you use to lay down your sign so you can help others? It might be that. Either way, he's someone you can summon into your game to help you with bosses. You may have summoned him for the gargoyle fight, which you will not be doing in this round. Um have I run this out? Dude, remember how shitty it is outside and how nice and cozy how we not, are? How not <laughs> outside we are right now? <laughs> for, for, dude, I'm not going back outside. I may go back outside tomorrow to get, like, wine or beer. I think that's the only dude, thing. Dude, get mixology. Or no, oh, fuck, yeah, yeah. what is mini bar? Yeah, get mini bar. mini bar. Huh? I should just try that tomorrow for the first time. How quick are they? Yeah, like an hour, hour and a half. I need it. I need it fucking immediately. It's going to be quicker than you stumbling backwards out there, <laughs> lost in the goddamn torrential Ugh. wind blizzard. So that's where you came. The bridge is the way forward. That's where I came. Okay. Well, I'm just going to throw... All right. You know what? Just do this, because now you're safe. So just do this. Oh. <laughs> cool. All right. Run forward to the right. Run to the right. The right to the right see this nope. right to the right okay. Good work. so that was just a little risky to do all right that would have killed me for yeah, sure yeah, that was a little risky to do with all the souls that you had all right now head down here i'll just kind of tell you i remember i got the drake sword before yeah, 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 yeah. but, but don't i'm go not out here yet let's let's get yet. the Maybe shortcut your little tail you fucker sorry i'm just gonna give you this because fuck it go down go down the stairs here and lower the ladder and you're back at the bonfire with a shortcut. Perfect. See? Great. So now you can go. Okay. Now is where we're going to get the Drake Sword. And you knew this already, but you, you remember this setting, right? Uh, vaguely. So this might be a little boring for folks, but um, we're just going to hang out, have a drink. I'm probably going to take a rip of do here uh, in a second. Why are you looking at keys? Because right. I'm learning the menu. <laughs> <laughs> This is the item menu, so you want to hit uh, RB, R bumper, and go, and next to the sword, yeah, that should go. All right, first of all, dispatch the dudes down here before we do anything. There's a, a couple of dudes down here, we just want to get rid of them. The day booze delivery ever comes to my city, it's over, lol. I'd only leave the house to go to work. Speaking of delivery, let's order that pizza. Get it. Because I kind of want to drink soon, and I'm not going to drink. Definitely want to eat. Empty ass stomach. I just need, there was a really bad pizza place that I need to not order from this time. You know what I mean? 
there's like amazing pizza places and there's like one awful one. And whenever I get it, I'm like, I could have just like made this. You know what I'm saying? Oh god, I'm gonna roll off. I feel like I should go back to the shield now that I'm not like in a fight. Is it the dollies? Please uh, oh, die. It's fine. You got the shield. I know, I know. It just Rizzo's and Steinway. That looks good. Just go by ratings. Like how many numbers they have? The dollies. See, that looks like the real shit. I think it's Grand Ave. Should probably get like a kind of. A, I might get like a couple margins just because. We're hanging. We're hanging. We're gonna be drinking later. I got a bottle of tequila in the freezer. Dangerous. I've got, we got Jack. We've got. It's a winter shit show. I'm not going anywhere. We should get all the bullshit we can get, right? Yeah. So I'm going back to shield because I feel like for littler guys I was doing better with that. The two-handed worked for Taurus, but uh -huh. uh, I like having them. I'm rolling around on that bridge scares the shit out of me. So. Oh, yeah. Do you have any preference on anything? I'm doing pepperoni for one. Just basic ass pepperoni. Pepperoni's my favorite kind of pizza. Okay, should we just get um, two pepperoni then? I could, do that. I could do one that has like a veggie of some kind on okay. it. Okay. Are you trying to be healthy or just because it's what you like? Uh, both. I do. I love pepperoni, but then I find if I eat only pepperoni, I want to die later. Yeah. So, broccoli? Is that good? Broccoli works. Broccoli what, and, uh, uh, what other veggies? Onions? Onions are good. Let's what? do let's do a broccoli. You can do like okay. a broccoli and like a sausage if you want. Broccoli and sausage on one and yeah. pepperoni on the other? Alright, cool. Whatever you it's your show. <laughs> Don't ask me opinions, I have infinite of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. Um Alright. Goodbye! <laughs> I, ho I really, if this is the place, I'm going to be so pissed off. I don't think it is, though. This looks like legit pizza. Be wary. <gasps> what happened? I what are you I, doing? I thought I almost rolled off the thing. Okay. <laughs> be okay, wary of fine. poison. Do I want to go in here? Um, No. Okay. Where are you? Don't go there. Don't go in there. Rats. Don't go in there. I hate rats. According to Dunderpedia... Employees, except for Michael Pizza by Alfredo, is perhaps the worst eatery known, with poorly made entrees and terrible service. <laughs> Pizza by Alfredo? I think it's an office. They're doing an office. Yeah, is that an office? Okay, so, uh, head back a little ways to the next pillar. You've killed these guys, that's all we want you to do. Just head back. So, you're gonna sh be. We're gonna just bow and arrow this, um, this dragon, okay? There it is. Yeah. All right. So switch your t t uh, right directional button. No, no, switch out. You already have it equipped, so right directional. Um, hit the R bumper once. Hit it once. Okay. Hold down. Hold down. Hey, let me actually see because I don't want to just tell you bullshit. Okay, now you equip to by hitting the R bumper once. Okay, I don't know why I didn't do it just then. Hold oh, down. I was hitting the trigger. That's why. Hold down L1. Um, to aim like that, mm -hmm. hold down R like that, and then let. Go. And then you can maybe get a second one in here, but it's kind of hard. So you might just want to wait till he goes back. So you don't have to hold that in. That's okay. a toggle. You're just gonna want to hold down. All right, let me play. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and so just hold down the up. Now do that. Like 50 times. Careful though, because you do only have 40 arrows, and it will be a shame if we have to run all the way back. I'll be annoyed by that. Yeah. So I forget how many arrows it takes, but it takes a fucking lot. So you might just want to be patient. And we'll hang out with chat. And just do a little chat about it. What's up, you know? PP while you do this. Check all in right. with everybody. See how everybody's doing. How is everybody? Brocco on pizza well, is a low mid tier veg. Well, Tommy said, what What do you got? What's a good, <laughs> what's a good veg on a pizza? <laughs> I think broccoli and sausage, classic. Pineapple should never be on pizza. The greatest pizza debate of all time is top viewers, so don't waste your time on it now. Get more arrows first. 
So, Barbot, should I just go get more arrows now? Will this guy, like, respawn? Ah, oh, Jesus, what a shot. Will this guy, like, get back his health if I just leave? This is embarrassing. I guess, like, peppers, I don't... I know they are a vegetable, but I feel like it's... It doesn't feel like... What? Thank you. Thank you. Um... I don't know, I just like something green, you know what I'm saying? Holden, there seems to be a consensus that I don't have enough arrows to do this and that we're wasting our time. Especially because I can't shoot for shit. I agree. They were just saying. They, wait, 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 wait. they were just. They were just saying. Hold in. They were, they were saying. I get it. They were being it. Oh, rip of the tip, man. Happy fucking friend Friday. I forget how much I love. Friend Friday. Friday. I was like, oh man, it's seven hours. Of seven hours of streaming. Sweet potato. I've never had sweet potato on a pizza, Jake. That's crazy talk. I must try it. Fucking powdered toast, man. Fucking. Oh, uh, that's badass. Action figure Great. So sick. Very cool gift for Christmas. Super cool. This place called Kid Robot. Oh, they're cool. I used to have to go there when I worked at Forbidden Planet. I have to like pick shit up. And my nephew. That should have been a hit, you motherfucker. Aiden handmade me a Buster Sword. Whoa. How badass is that, dude? Handmade me this. How fucking cool. Very sweet. We have an intense pizza discussion going on in this chat oh, right now. I'm so ready for it. So hungry. Keep doing this. Keep not eating and it's fucking my screen up. Ah, uh, that was me on Thursday. I was just the final hour of my stream yesterday. I was just like dogging it. I was hungry as piss. Oh, my nephew. Thurman, man. <laughs> Fuck Thurman, man. He's the worst. You know, it's funny actually that you can get the dragon to like fly halfway over to the bridge, like he's doing while you're on the bridge, and you can hack off the tail with the sword if you're like fast enough. That's how speedrunners do it. That sounds intimidating. Yes. It is. All right. I was doing some really bad shots earlier. It was now really, really chill. embarrassing. Uh, yeah. Now we just hang out. As long as you don't die going back to the blacksmith, I I think we're fine either way. But I think after t if you hit them all, I, if you hit all these twenty, I think you might be fine. What's happening? I can't enough. We're talking about pizza. And we're we're trying to shoot trying to get the dragon's Drake tail sword. off with a um, getting that noob sword. Gotta get the noob sword, please, Doctor Speedrod. Please. We were just talking about you because I need to fucking play Demon Souls on this stream before they remove the online elements uh in february i will be working on that in the next couple weeks pizza chat only you give me a fig arugula pancetta pizza mm, my food is instantly better i, I just fig. hard time with figs fig man so many things we disagree about just not Come a on. fig man so many things <laughs> so many things that's why you're probably a perfect match at the end of the day that's fair mm-hmm nice and it can be a little off if you, you'll still see the blood come off. I know, but I've missed some, like, hard, so now I'm right. being really careful. No worries. It's fine. We're probably going to have to go get more, and that's fine. Um, God, I just, like, I love every weird thing about this game. Like, this part, 
when we found this out, this like, is unreal that anybody when, figured when this Cal out. When Kellen was like, "Who the so, fuck did this?" He was like, "Okay, dude. So to get this really dope sword, you have to fucking meticulously sh uh, fire arrows at a dragon's tail until you shoot it off and you get the sword." I was like, "What?" And it's like that shit. It was that kind of stuff that was like word of mouth shit that mm -hmm. I haven't done since like Zelda on the NES, right? You know, or or it Super Nintendo. It is and cool that it brings like, that back. Where you meet, it's like meeting up with your buddy the next day at school. And you're like, dude, so there's this cave up in the northwest, and if you go there, you can talk to this old man, and he'll give you a spell, and like, like it reminded me of that. Um, I remember just like, I loved like, because for this game, the first time I played it, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna read everything, mm -hmm. I'm gonna like read the strategy guides online, and like, you know, just kind of in that sense cheat if you want to call that cheating like but i was like i need all the help i can get to get through this game this game is so crazy that's the thing i don't think it's cheating in a game like this this game is about like community and figuring stuff out right but that's why there's that's burned the messages on the damn that's why floor. when a new one comes out it's so exciting because we don't have all those answers immediately um, there it is drake sword Dude, if you totally walk back and forth next to the van, you can find a, a Mew under it. My cousin Trevor totally did it. You're right? It's like all that shit. And I, I remember just getting so excited, like, reading what was to come in the game. Like, okay, I got past this boss. What's next? And I would read about it and be like, you're going into a sewer. And there's going to be fucking, you know, these curse. Like, there's going to be these lizards that can curse you and this fucking this and that. And you've got to kill the mage up top. And it was so, like, exciting to just, like, read what I was about to have to deal with, you know? Mm -hmm. And be like, fuck, man, this is going to be horrible. And getting all revved up for it, and then sitting down and playing it. I mean, it's just so exciting, man. It's so cool. Uh, okay, so remember that cave with the rats? Yeah. Yeah, you want to go deal with them. Did you, you equip the Drake sword, I take it? Yes. All right. Poison now. No, not yet. Okay, so it has to build all the way up. See how it's lowering? Okay. And you'll know. It'll go, and you'll start a poison. It's not the end of the world, poison. Because I saw all the messages. Yeah. It sucks. Okay, there so now you're poison. So now your health is slowly ticking down. So heal. And there's going to be a... Well, I should say, but... There's going to be another, another one. one. Yeah, one more. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Why are you not... What's the point of targeting... Alright, so you're still poisoned. I don't know if you have... Look at your items. We'll maybe heal first. Uh, look in your items. Just scroll really quickly. I don't know if you have anything that cures healing yet. Or cures poison yet. No, you don't. Alright, so let's just keep moving. Just deal with it. It's a, it's a burden. It's fine. So. You'll just have to keep an eye on it for healing. And it is slowly kind of... Works its way out away. of my system. And then you can get an item later too, but you end up dealing with poison like a lot of this game, and that's just a basic fucking situation. The undead parish. <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, right? This sword is OP as fuck for this point in the game, and so yeah, it's a good way to go. Um, for this for, for newer people, it's a good way to go. The sword is not up here, though. Up here, you just stagger to Black Knight. Motherfucker! Ah! <laughs> uh, I should start reading some of these messages. <laughs> I also just died of poison for no fucking. No, he hit you. He was right. Oh, he got me. He, he, All right. He fucking. No, there's fucking dick mildly you with more giant sword. Again, if you killed, I think actually that is the Black Knight that uh, Steve killed, Skulker Steve, and. Yeah. Again, if you kill that knight, um, it's actually a method of speed running is to kill that knight yeah, the and have second it one. drop that sword. Yeah, the second one. I mean, that so seems can, like a great sword. So you can go try to kill him. I mean, you have a much better chance with the Drake sword. But um, now leave that and the ladder. so funny um so yeah you have a better shot at him you probably want to bring him down to the hallway i will say this though when i play this game now i like give him a couple tries and then move on like if i can't kill him in the first you know, unless i get all determined and right. stupid which happens usually um this is that bridge with that 
Oh, I thought I killed the dragon. <laughs> he just chopped his, sword, his tail off. That's fucking... <laughs> God... <laughs> you can actually run all the way down there. There's a bonfire at the end of there. I, like, never run there usually, though. But you can get past that. But you have to, like... You have to get the dragon to, like, come to that point... Halfway point in the bridge and then, like, keep running. And I never quite... It just doesn't sound that like out. that safe a bonfire. <laughs> It, well, it, it, it's just not that useful. I guess it allows you to skip these fucking rats, which did give you a problem. I think the R2 is a thrust, by the way, with that sword, which might help you more with the rats. Try R2. Hmm, no, never mind. No, it's a swing. Still, might be good with the rats, because it kind of takes a step forward, and so you can keep your distance and then kind of... What you t also, um, the shield will shield the rats, uh, like poison bite. Will it? Yeah, so if you want to just let them, like, go bonk, bonk, and then, they'll you know, They'll give me an opening. A lot, a lot of this game is, you know, about, like, letting them kind of strike first, tank the hit, and then, you know, while they're... It's kind of very fighting gamey in that sense. Come on, fucker. Like, they'll kind of wear out, and then you, and then you take your hit. Dude. <laughs> it's very, like, smart AI. It's weird. Like, it's very, like, it doesn't just, They don't just, you know, yeah. Like, I think that's what, why this game w got so many accolades and stuff at first was, especially for the time it came out, it was, like, you know, kind of clever AI for the time, I feel like. Shabop has it with the dragon. The dragon leaves if you get past him and you can get the claymore from the bridge. Oh, okay. So that's what's good. What's up? That's why I never really fucked with the claymore, actually, I guess. Shabob. Um, it's because I probably just never really got it, like, there. I was, I was always wondering what the fuss was about with the claymore. Like, first of all, this sword is so bananas good for this point in the game. Um. Go. Um. So that was kind of one thing. Claymore is godlike for most of the game. Claymore best more. Yeah, love people love the Claymore. I've never really liked the rhythm of the swing on the Claymore. I feel like this is so much like snappier. But I was also always like again, I did the pure strength thing, and then what did I do for the last run? I think I still went Drake Sword when I played. I can't remember when I played on stream last. Claymore's moveset is really good. Yeah. This looks fun. <laughs> Yes. Now you're gonna fight that black knight? Right. I kinda got lost. Yeah, people love it. I personally never really like caught fire with me that much, but um, I believe it. Probably just because again, I never really like got it from doing that run with the dragon. You're gonna fight the knight? Yeah. Right. I'll give it a try. Again, try to do that backstab, and I would try to fight him, like, down below. You didn't aggro anybody else down below? I don't think so. Oh, man. I'd love to get my souls. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can. Be sure to fist that boar's asshole. There's a helmet in there sometimes. I agree with Shit. Bobby Squared. I thought he aggroed a dude too. Did you? Oh, well, you're just down here now? Will he follow me all the follow. way down here? I think he might. Wait. Wait for it. That's the other thing that was kind of great for, you know, a lot of other games you could kind of get away, but like they're just relentless in this game, which is super fun. The character looks like Jane Lynch. Mm hmm. Super does. Super does. What's up, chat? What's up, Friend Friday? Thanks for joining us today, everybody. We're going to have a hot Japanese dating sims tonight for you. I'm excited. Yeah. Jackie. I thought she was going to be in town for it. I know, but she, they got Planes, snowed out. Yeah. So she'll be here next week. Okay, they just push the whole thing back? Yeah, I should mark a poll over now. What's happening, Jackie? I'm here with Jared. We're going to excited to do the show. Hey, Jackie. Woo! How lonely are you? Let me know, and uh, let's get drunk together tonight and forget about it. Peace. She's very sad that she couldn't be here because I guess 
uh, Natalie and Henry are gone, and like uh, that, like her whole escape plan was like, I'll come to New York and like mm-hmm. party with my friends and not be like like alone, sad, and, sad and alone, and lonely <laughs> yeah. in L. A. because everybody left. Um, and instead, she is. What time? Six p.m. EST. We'll probably we'll cut out here maybe like twenty minutes before or so. Take a break, you know. Hey, come on. Bullshit around. Probably around like 5.30, 5.40. We'll take a little breaky break and get set up for it. Um, 6 p.m. though, yeah. We're going. Ooh, he's fast. Streaming until till then. Yeah, he's super fucking fast. I love the move set. Like, they're so cool looking. You fight. You end up fighting a lot of these guys. Ooh. Bad timing, Jared. <laughs> Promise you, you can't really run. <laughs> Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, the other thing is, um, you can't really run too far because if you run into that There's courtyard, you're just, just you were the arrow. one who told me. <laughs> the shit of days. Well, no, 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 but but if you're up in the thing, it's even worse. Like, you have no space to work with. I know. Just, I don't know. That guy is very tough. Thank you, Doctor Smoothrod. <laughs> You die. What are we at now? Four, Jackie five, tonight, six p.m. EST. Japanese dating sims. Let's fucking go. What now? Oh, death counter. I don't know. We should definitely um. Let me look into getting a death counter like next time. I don't know how to. I think we're work. at five. We're at five now. Yeah, we should definitely get that happening. I'm sure I could manually do it, and that's fine. But I wonder if there's some way you can just like auto have it auto do. I feel like somebody at this point has a don't fall application off thing. or mod that will count the deaths. See, one hit kills on these guys. Like it's fucking so crazy OP. For me, I felt like this game was like super duper hard and it still continued to be, but I was like, oh, but now I have like kind of a sneak cheaty weapon. But it doesn't really uh Nightbot has a counter. Awesome. It doesn't um stay that way. You can't you cannot take this sword to the end of the game. That uh, right. is, is the thing with it. Well, that's... I imagine you can't take anything to the end of the game. I mean, soon... I mean, soon enough, you're gonna... We're gonna get you the Zweihander, and you're gonna start war- upgrading that thing. And yeah, that will potentially... If you like it... The thing is, you might get the Zwei and super not like it at all. Like, it's long, slow swings and stuff. It just fucking devastates like everything just like crumbles under the weight of it. it's the berserk sword yeah it's that it's that sword it's like that massive you, you carry it over your fucking shoulder it's just huge you know and i like loved it the first time i played this game it was so much fun to just wait let me get my two souls mm-hmm that trick sword can get you well into mid game i think yes absolutely it can it's it's yeah, and what's nice is you can customize. Like, you don't have to, you know, go with any of this shit that I'm saying. You can totally switch swords or do whatever at any time, you know? Yeah. The only thing that's a little hard is respecking, but it's definitely a thing you can do. I forget where. Oh, Did boy. that just kill me? No. Oh, God. No, you were technically alive. That ring just it's popped that ring, off, so yeah. that's why you're shining. Yeah, this sword's wall that it hits is very abrupt. All of a sudden, you realize you were doing no damage, and it's super hard to upgrade to make it relevant again. Yes, because you need... So, different sword types have different upgrade materials they need mm-hmm. to make them more powerful. This one, you need, like, dragon scales or whatever, which are way more rare in the world. Um, so, it's very hard. Also, yeah, it doesn't scale with anything, or it doesn't scale well with anything, and that's why, at the end of the day, it's it becomes useless. Um, cool. And these are all valid strategies, too. You know, distance using the bow and arrow a lot. I think bow and arrow is more of a dexterity weapon. Definitely not doing much. No, but if, it's more of a patience thing. Like, right. But, I, I mean, I don't know. There you go. I was about to say, but I didn't want to say. That board just charged you, I think. I don't think he can come up here, though. I could be wrong. Yeah, that's why at the end of the day it sucks. And weapon scaling is like still s- slightly confusing to me, but um, something that I definitely was learning about for the first time with this game. But it makes sense. It's essentially just you know different weapons 
improve based on your st specific different stats, you know? So if it's like a strength-based weapon, it's gonna, the stronger you are, the better the weapon is gonna uh, be. Bad timing, Jared. <laughs> Item, all right, look down. What's this fucking dude doing? Let's have some decent souls. Ooh, he is kited back to his original position. So what you could do is, I mean, I would just fucking- oh, Watch out for that, that motherfucker. All right. By the way, do you think you got further than this when you played the game uh, last time? I think so. Yeah, I, okay. I remember that bull. I like keep no, remembering you beat things. The gargoyles. You yeah, beat the gargoyles. So what you could do is drop behind that bull and and backstab it in the ass, potentially. Or uh, I think just yeah, this is a good fight. Just have fun with it. Just fucking beat this me now. giant bull. Yeah. So you gotta fight him head on or whatever. Just get behind him. That's definitely the. Weapon scaling is so vague in this, it's hard to really judge what A, B, C actually mean numbers-wise without just straight looking it up. Yeah, for sure. I want to heal. I want to heal me. Just go in this full health. Just get him to reset again. Don't be scared. Just beat it. Just kill it. Oh, the alluring skull. So, Dr. Smoothout does bring up an interesting thing. You have an item you just picked up. It's called an alluring skull. And you, can skull. you can throw that, and it'll be attracted to that item, and you can like hit it while it's distracted. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. You, you, were doing, you were doing big damage on it, though. So. Oh, man. I'm excited to show you Injustice 2 uh, later. Yeah, let's just do it. Hopefully, if we're fun. not too uh, hammered after Japanese, it is very cool. Have you played the first one? Like the demo? Oh, shit. Why did I do that? Uh, the demo. It's super cool. It's just like, you know. I always have, I always struggle with fighting games. It was never, it was right. never my, I like, was really good with Raiden and Mortal Kombat. Raiden is actually two? in Injustice 2, which is interesting. What? I haven't played this in yet. Yeah, he's like the only fighting game, like, Mortal Kombat character in there yet, I think. Um, there's a lot of cool, I like, uh, Harley Quinn. Superman's pretty cool to play. Uh, Catwoman's cool to play. Batman's cool. <laughs> Aquaman's actually surprisingly pretty awesome. Aquaman gets a bad rap. Aquaman's awesome. You got Green Lantern. You've got Wonder Woman's pretty pretty dope. Um, and they're like special. Where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> Never have there been three. They're like special moves or ultras or whatever you want to call them. I forget what they're called in this game. Are like really easy to do. Like once you have full meter, you just hit the triggers and mm -hmm. they just do, you know. And if I don't block it or whatever, they'll just do it. And that's pretty easy. You probably need to combo into it against like better players, but at least against like the computer, you can. And they look crazy. Like Batman's is like, you you like he goes like boop 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 now, and you just see like this thing drop down and like snap him up into the air, and it's the fucking bat. What is it called? The bat plane. Bat wing. The what? The bat wing. Yeah, the bat wing. It's the bat wing has him by a hook, flies into the air, like flies in front of the moon. And then like does the Tim Burton yeah, bullshit. Yeah, like, love slams it. Slams back down, and, like slams him onto the ground. It's pretty badass. And they all have really crazy ones. Like Superman just like launches you into the clouds and like, fucking throws you into space. Uh, Star Starfire all day. I haven't really played with her much. I like her in Teen Titans. Yeah, I'm excited for um the horror movie coming out. New uh, Mutants. New Mutants. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really like. Fascinated by that whole project and fucking Arya's in it as a big part in it. Arya Stark, Maisie Williams, who I like a lot, is great. Um, that's what I'm doing. I'm in not Game watching my stamina like a dumb shit. Jack is talking to us. I'm just not saying anything bad. What has happened to Jackie in the month since she moved there? Jesus Christ. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn, Cobby Squared. <laughs>
Kyrie Squared says, I thought Batman just bored the opponent to death about his dead ass parents. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, by the way, is like the biggest Batman That's fan. That's I can't claim the biggest. You're I, a big Batman I, fan. Batman is my guy. Batman yeah. is my guy for sure. What What would you take? I think I already asked you this, right? Batman or Star Wars? Star Wars. And you said Star Wars yeah. with a bullet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't want it to be this way. Like I said, the real tests really start here. Jackie's a filth girl. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's fun. She's fun. She's having a good time. All right, let's go kill these same... Five Yo, fuckers. Mm -hmm. And welcome to Dark Souls. I feel like we finally made it to Dark Souls. I feel like this is it. I feel like this that's pretty good for a first run. Nest of it right here. Well, we're not. Done. Where even are we? Yeah. What time is it? Like an hour left of this. <laughs> I love Jaggy. Chia. She'll be on tonight, 6 p.m. In about an hour, pizza will get here. We'll eat up. We'll chill. Yeah, this is when you really settle into the souls, right? What are we doing right now, too? You are trying to get to another bonfire. Yes. Is what you're doing trying in this game right beat, now. Beat the pig thing. You're not into Dark Souls until the gargoyle? I feel like everybody has, like, a point. Some argue it's Ornstein and Snow and fucking Anor Londo. Uh, but I think you might be right, Dr. Swingrod. I think it really might. True Dark Souls starts at uh, the goyles. To gargoyles that you fought and slain you slayed the gargoyles i think so again i do feel like the first true test of this game it is not the taurus demon on the bridge the taurus demon on the bridge is difficult but if you are determined enough um you will certainly be able to defeat him you know no matter why am what. i having such a hard time with like the same guys like i don't know i think you're doing fine you have 10 s's flasks Okay, so what you probably want to do is you probably want to run straight up the stairs, right? Like, okay, kite him first. Like, bring him back into there. Um, and see, he's coming to you as well. So just de deal with these two guys before you... And try not to aggro the boar, which pretty much gets aggroed as soon as you, like, walk out into that kind of little area, right? Yeah, that's where you want to get him. See, he's so slow right now. Boom, boom. Hit him. Uh, oh, you only need to hit him once. I'd pop him... Tw uh, if you hit R R1, like... Do a little combo. Boom, boom. It'll it'll be a fast couple. See? That's pretty quick. You, you're killing them with one hit, but definitely versus the boar, like, try to get those uh, two swings in there. I get into that focus termination in Sins where I would not let the game defeat me. Yeah. Sins Fortress is, is uh, definitely a <laughs> big test. This is good. Now, see, now you're not, like, getting lucky anymore. You're, like, you're settling into the true flow of how to do the combat. It's a good tutorial area for you. Um, yeah, just basic understanding of the mechanics yes. no longer serves. Yeah, you can kind of get so far with that shit. I mean, what well, with that guy, Blight Town is the true test of commitment to beat this game. I guess that's true, Copy. See, everybody has a different moment. I think the Gargoyles are a, the first boss that is truly a fucking deep challenge to defeat. I think that um, since Fortress, that happens before. No, no, no. Blight Town happens first. Yeah, I think maybe you're right. Blight Town is really the first. Like, I think if you can get past Blight Town and the gargoyles, you can certainly beat the game with enough determination. If you cannot best those two things, then you need to become put on your diapy dipe <laughs> and get your baba -ba and get the fuck out of, out of this fucking room. Dark Souls. Until you get to Vort of the Boreal Valley, you haven't really experienced Dark Souls. That's true. Holden tries to convince Jared he loves Dark Souls for four hours. Should be the title of the stream today. <laughs> Blighttown tests your notes over there. It's a fucker. I mean, the funny thing about Blighttown is that the t it's a lot of the test is like. The lighting sucks, and it's real, like, they never quite fixed the fucked up framiness that it is, and it's, like, just annoying to traverse, it's, it's, like, whereas, or, whereas, like, a Norlando or, like, Sins Fortress, I feel like is a true kind of well-put-together challenge, a lot of Blight Town is the fucking, uh, challenge of just, like, shitty, you know, design and programming. 
It's just the fuck out of everything. Yeah, and toxic. And those dudes with the fucking toxic darts, of course. Get him. There you go. Huh? It's really good reach on that Drake, too. What do you think of Dark Souls? What is your opinion at this point of the, I was, of the game? Series? Actually, the very specific thing I was just thinking about is how much I love the, like, Ray Harryhausen feel of the physics. Uh, like, just, I love... Ray Harryhausen? Yeah, like, Jason and the Argonauts. Yeah. Like, the all uh, the old stop-motion yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, totally. Just the... I didn't even think about that stuff. The problem is, try to aggro him down the stairs so you can get away from this. Oh, she's a man, baby! I am Scott. Welcome! 06. Thank you so much for the sub. He has the higher ground. Love you all, then. Thank you, I'm Scott 06. Appreciate it. Look at this guy. This guy's easy. This thing, I don't, these random spear chuckers are giving me fucking shit. It's like when you bring your buddy over for a sleepover. He's playing your favorite game, and you need him to love it. Yeah, exactly. I do love exactly. this game. I do think it's amazing. It is so not my normal... Is he backwards or forwards? He's facing uh, me. This sucks because he's sort of like. And there's a guy there. Hey, why don't you pull out your fire bombs? I think this. I think this fucking boar is allergic to them too. So why don't we? Um, See, I would have forgotten I even had that shit. Yeah, yeah. So equip. The, oh, I think it is equipped. So pull out of this and hit down on the. Oh, pull out of the menu. Hit down on the. Yeah, and then target that guy again, and th uh, hit uh, hit uh, square. Wait. Don't scroll back to it. Yeah, hit square. Hopefully he won't fall off. Alright, just keep doing that and kill the boar. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh! Alright, now you gotta fight him. You're fine, though. He's so beatable. Just get behind him. Keep hitting him. You got this, dude. He just looks intimidating. He's not that bad, though. Oh, Jesus. Get away from him. Roll. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Oh, no, the firebombs. You got him, though. Ah. Oh. Yeah. If I meant to do that, that would have been badass. <laughs> Go to your you got the, oh, You got the best fucking helmet ever, dude. Put this helmet on, dude. This is a random drop, and you got it. It's one of the coolest things ever. Go to, uh, yeah. Scroll down to Fangbore Helm. Circle out. Yes! Uh, yeah, dude. Look at that thing. I am queen of this land. <laughs> that was killer. Don't think you can open that. 2,738 souls. I believe the boar perma dies? Better fucking be dead. I'm pretty sure the boar perma dies, so you may want to go level up. You did it, dude. Now, all those guys will come back, but I, at least I think the boar goes away. And I got the sick helmet, so they and you have the sick fucking helmet. run you're from You're probably me. fat rolling, but at this point, you're using your shield more now, so maybe let's... Yeah, there's, like, bosses beat, that maybe, I think I like to roll for, but the... Yeah, try not to roll so hard. Yeah, boar is permadead. All right, awesome. I just feel like, too, there's no other game that I, like, no top to bottom, like, I do this game. You know? Yeah. I don't think there is. I've never seen a game inspire so many people to have such, like, an encyclopedic obsession Right? To just know it mm -hmm. so well. And a lot of that comes from the repetition. It comes from, you right. know, having to do certain sections over and over again. But um, it also just, yeah, there's such a, like, glee in exchanging knowledge and shit of it. I'm, I'm trying to think, like, maybe... What was like an early game? I at one point it, it was Z Legend of Zelda: uh, Link's Awakening. Also, that super doesn't matter because you're gonna get all your Estes back. I need to stop saying super. I've said it way too much today. You can probably house Havel now if a Papa J Red wants to not fat roll everywhere. That is true. Would you like to take on Havel? That sounds fun. that sounds fun. All right, let's take on Havel, man. Should level up. Oh, of course. Uh, what? More what? Also, is that it? I only get one? Yeah. Uh, 
I'm just taking it. Strength, let's be strong. He was this way? Yes. I think that's then, still the fastest way to get to him. These dudes are just going to crumble underneath you. Uh, do a roll. Okay. That's it's not good. bad. Yeah, yeah. You can still use that against Havel. That You can at least use that to roll away from Havel if you want. Yeah. You're gonna just take care of all these guys. This is the wrong. No, this is not the house you're thinking it is. Oh shit! I'm in a different <laughs> place. Damn it! Jared. But honestly, this is good because I think you only kited one of those guys. Now you can kind of reset. Well, now they'll come for you. They can break free. Maybe just keep going. Wow, these guys all die in one hit too. Now, so. All right, let's take some bets right now. Who who thinks? Jared can do it in one. Who thinks Jared can do it in one attempt here? Wait, which way am I? You're good. I'm good. All right, go, you want me to just, yeah, direct you no, up I remember the stairs? No, I remember now. <laughs> who wants to now reconsider the bet they just made? All right, who thinks he can get to Havel without dying at this point? <laughs> He's still... Oh, so lucky. Go. So lucky. Keep going. Uh, Vati Vidya does the YouTube. Uh, it's a weird name. Hey, baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salad and scrambled eggs. They're calling again. What's happening, Dr. Miles Can Crane? How are you? I'm going to screw up your name. I've been talking for too long today. Yeah, sorry. You've been, you've been taking the brunt on the Tim talking. Tim C says he can death do it in one. All right. Just adjust and everything. <laughs> I have, really just, I have is, this for this you. This is not a good omen, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let me just adjust this mic. He pulls it fully off the stand. It's because these cheap fucking mic stands. This is, this is easy to cuss it. Right, right there. there. Go, there oh go. wow! Now, okay. now right. we're now ready. We're ready. Okay. Do I have pit stains? Am I sweating in this Ooh, fucking you game? Be, man, this is fucking intense. This is like an intense right here. All right. Rip over the cords. What do we have, too? We have... You've got some time to best this boy if you don't do it in one. But you're going to do it in one. The main thing is let's try to get a backstab in. Let's try to get a backstab. Again, if he does that, like, big slam Big down, slam. Get, just circle around. Always be circling Havel. Okay, All and... Right? Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Circle around him and then just, like, stand behind him and hold down Backstab R1. is just hold R1 I believe when so. I'm behind somebody. Am I fucking this up? I feel like maybe... It, Tell me, because it's so, like, something I just do now that maybe I'm forgetting part of the technique. Blue Tearstone is really playing off. Playing, paying off. Tommy said, what? Just linked the Vati Vidya uh, YouTube playlist uh, for the Dark Souls lore. If anybody is curious, it is fascinating. Hey, uh, and he doesn't no, do don't do that. That's okay. Roll. All right. He's easy to get away from. He's slow. I would fight him down here. Yeah? Yeah. Good. It's okay. That was. <laughs> All right. Target him. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't be scared. You're scared. I'm not scared. You're visibly <laughs> frightened. <laughs> You're visibly I'm not frightened. Scared. Though. Okay. Then just get in there. Engage. Play with him. He's a little toy. He's a little boy toy. You just want to play with him. You just want to tickle him and play with him. He's a fun little toy for you. Oh, I figured out how to jump. In a non-sexual way, like in a normal, you know, just a fun little boy. <laughs> just a fun little boy to play Stop with. that metaphor. He's a good time bro who just wants to spar with you and be nuts with you, all right? He just wants to be silly at, at the, you know, the fucking party house. That's it. He's not trying to get you too crazy. Wait, was the bet to beat him in one or get beaten in one hit? Um, I think it was beat him in one. That could be wrong. Pretend you're smashing the face of a giant child. No dexterity, no coordination. You are smarter and faster. Than that. All 
Most of Babel's attacks are vertical, so circle strafing is really effective. Yes, so, right? Because what he's doing is he's just slamming straight down, right? So if you're just circling some, a lot of times you don't even have to roll, yeah. you know? Because he'll just kind of, you'll see when he sort of stops his movement, you know, and just dedicates to a certain spot, you know? Most of Apple's attacks are, okay, I already read that. Um, so just circle him. Just target like you're him. smashing the face of a giant child. No dexterity, no coordination. You are smarter and faster than him. That's actually a really good. I'm bringing a friend. Oh shit, nice helmet. I know, right, Mom and the Steez? We got the good drop on the boar. You, you fight boars like that later, and you can get the drop in, but actually that helmet like, is a rare, awesome early game drop. Kind of like the Black Knight. Uh, pretty mad that I did that. That was good. No, 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 that works. Get the souls. Hit him. Don't be scared. See, you knocked him back or whatever. I feel like he didn't even get me. <laughs> I feel like he didn't even hit me. No, that was good. All right. I got him now. I you got, got his, him? I got his, his number now. Are you determined to... to, to uh, now he will fall. Pass this boss? He will fall. Again, we just got to get you to get one backstab. I think. I got to figure that move out. If you out. do that once... Where's there was a guy we could, like, practice on? I feel like there should... There probably is one. That was 100% bullshit. Yeah, that was pretty bullshit. That was weird. He just barely, like, the hitbox just barely clipped you. That's why it looks so weird. Parry him like the god you are, Jared. Or you could parry him. The other thing you could do is maybe switch to one-handed um, if you think you are just going to straight roll. Um, and, and I just did that way better than last time. So. Yeah, that's good. I would, hmm, I wonder if they, I don't know if they follow you or not. I guess this is, yeah, it's pretty easy. Try to backstab this guy. Wait, 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 let's let's practice. Yeah, just get behind him. Wait till he commits. Keep circling him. And when you're standing right behind him, you'll just like hold R one and do it. Should I let go of shield to do that? Yeah, Is maybe that. Yeah, drop him? everything. Yeah, you gotta drop everything and do it. Yeah, that, that's definitely a hundred percent affecting it. Okay. Here we go. Attempt number three. Mm -hmm. Four, technically, because the first yeah, time the you first met time. him. <laughs> attempt, attempt four on Havel. This is uh, this part. There's also a door down here that you can open that leads to a crazy ass area. That's because you have the master key. You can open that door. I believe. I think it's the master. Key. So that's good. When he flails like that, that's a great time to hit him. He takes him a second to lift that big fucking dragon, dragon's tooth up. That's what that is, by the way. It's a giant fucking tooth of a dragon. Jesus. That's such... <laughs> Do you want to deal with him later? No, I want to get okay. him now. You want to get him yeah. now? Alright, cool. Maybe I'll maybe I will take my shield out. It's not doing me any good. I mean, if you're not gonna, yeah, if you're in, in roll. I mean, it just has no it has no effect on so him. So you're gonna want to unequip that when will, you okay. have a moment to do that, but you probably need to run through this gauntlet first. Don't mind me. I mean, I will say this too. You know, I mean, assuming that you are able to beat this game, you will then have like a really good, you know, kind of trophy under your under your gaming belt. I don't know if that matters to you at all, but I definitely, definitely for me, if it was like partly the determination to be able to just say I definitely beat this game, you know. And then I never thought I would ever play this or any other game of this type again. And now I'm like, I'm in a bad spot. With it. That was so in stupid. Bad spot. That was so stupid. Yeah, that's what I love about this game and why I oh, never could get into it on my own is that when I play games like at home, just casually, you know. You don't want the stress. Yeah, I like it story. That's, you know, I'm an Uncharted guy and a Mass Effect guy. Um, Have you played the. Um, definitely one of the next games I'm getting is that Uncharted 4. Like, the, the new. Yeah, with uh, Chloe and. Yeah, uh, what's her name? Really 
I'm very excited for it. I have not played it yet. Apparently it has like some open world elements to it, like a small oh, interesting. kind of open world going on, and apparently, um, at least the Giant Bomb folks sold it really well um, by saying it's like, what the Uncharted series needed actually was to like, uh, follow someone different than Nathan Drake. Was yeah. The, actually the, the well, Nate's done, and I think that's perfect. Yeah. Because right? like, 4 was a f amazing game. Arguably, like, 4 was so amazing, so it made it fine, but arguably he was done after the third one, and then they made a fourth, you know? So it's kind of like, yeah, I mean, you I can keep doing Uncharted. You just can, you know, just use do a new character. And you have plenty of characters. I liked Cutter from 3. Yeah. Like, I'd watch a game with him, yeah. um, or play a game with him. Yeah, Cutter was cool. And apparently that their relationship, uh, the two ladies' relationship is really interesting and pays off like at all. So. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Good times. Do these count in my run against Havel, or do I have to actually see him? So this is the part where really the madness begins to take hold when you stop being able to even get to the thing that you're dying against. Okay, so this is not just I am the worst at this. No, this no, is no. A... This is this is um, one of the big moments of like intense frustration when you just feel like you can't even get back to the thing that's killing you. You know what I'm saying? Like that is just true. That is when you hit true despair because you know the beauty and horror of this game is that even the smallest, easiest, simplest, earliest enemies can kill you, no matter when or what, you know, point in the game. Because he killed the Black Knight on the way under the way to have it. Yes, he did, actually. Very but... insanely <laughs> so. I hope someone clipped that. I don't I don't know if anybody did, but yeah, he... The Black Knight fell off the ledge, which I, I don't think I've ever seen. You, like, fought him up the stairway into that room, fought him out of the room, down the stairs, and he fell off the ledge. Yeah, it was, it was a real Princess Bride sword fight we had there. It was kind of there. brilliant. Um, so I would definitely uh, advise going back and watching that uh, part of this run, which I will be, um, of course, uh, archiving all of this to YouTube. And that's the other good thing about this, Jared. If, uh, assuming you do beat this game, you'll have a full uh, recording of, of, the, of it that you can later go back and enjoy uh, the various... Because I'll tell you what... Kellen and I both. That I sounds know, very satisfying. Kellen and I both, I know, have drunkenly gone back and like watched our uh, <laughs> like wins against certain bosses that were like really challenging or, or cool. Retrieval seems very condescending when you've lost in the same room to the same two stormtroopers mm. five times. Mm -hmm. okay. Worst case of this for me is the bonus area of Dark Souls 2's uh, Ice DLC. Yeah, that is. I fucking hate that place with the fucking reindeer. And the fucking king's pets, and everything in that area. What? In uh, Dark Souls. Oh 2. wait! Did he, did he, damn it! Will, Will he you... follow me forever? Because I wanted yeah. to change out my thing. Well, okay, there is kind of a way you can cheese this guy. By the way, do you want to? If I could just lose him for a second. Well, I'll show you. I think he will leave you alone if you go outside here, maybe, or it might be farther up. See, I don't think he'll come all the way out here with you. Just keep an eye on him. So there's a real cheesy, cheese-ass thing. No, not poison arrows, where you can keep kiting him to the doorway and then taking, like, cheap shots at him. He can still kill you and fuck you up, but I do that. it's just kind of a, like, it's kind of a lame, cheesy way that I have definitely employed in the past to beat Havel. I feel like that's something you can do after you've earned the honor of killing him yes. for real. I think the best thing for you to do is learn how to backstab, for sure. Oh, tr and uh, circle out of this and then hit triangle to uh, dual wield. All right. I'm going to put on a sweater. I'm fucking cold, man. Where did you go? See, but now I feel like he's just going to be waiting for me to corner him. Fuck me up. <laughs> Look yeah, at he it. just resets down at the bottom. For the sake of hype, you should thrust a dragon tail sword in his dump hole. <laughs> Can Jared learn to backstab? Can he backstab? 
It takes getting right behind the guy. It's like it's a positioning thing. And the problem is you haven't done it once, so you don't quite know what to, like, do. You know, what's the, the feel of it. I mean, the only, the real problem is he's one shot at you. So, you really can come back to this guy. You do not need to kill this guy right now. So, it's up to you. I'm mad about it. All right. <laughs> What's the way forward? Um, let's see. What did you do? You unlocked that shortcut. The way forward is getting the next bonfire. Yeah, that's right. You beat the boar, and now you can kind of run past that courtyard pretty easily. That would be the way forward. Tracking on that attack is a nightmare. Yeah, so what they're talking about by tracking is when he's sort of turning with you, and then, like, the weird moment he slams down. Yeah. Like, he's still kind of turning with you, so if you roll early, he'll catch you in that and kind of still get you, you know? Right. So, if anything, I would, like, roll twice to try to kind of avoid it, you know? Um, overcompensate. What? Maybe what? Rather than, <laughs> rather than uh, undercompensate. You guys not come in here? Oh, nice. I don't think the other one's after you at all. Oh my god, we're, we're really gonna be switching gears here soon. I might, I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want to um, try a new dating sim or keep doing Katawa Shoju. I feel like Katawa Shoju is just so in the background of the stream now, which maybe is fine, because it's like becoming more of a talk show than like, a gaming show with Japanese, but I wonder also, I have this other game I bought like a while ago because it was on sale called Amnesia something something dreams whatever, but it's uh, another a new dating sim we could play tonight. It's also that shark dating sim. <laughs> immediately shark one. immediately like on board one? for shark. All right, let's try the shark one maybe. Oh, Jackie, you'll love the shark one. I think so, unless it sucks. Like it could just well. be cheesy and bad called Bible Black, Amnesia Bible Black? Really? I would I would believe it. Wait, where oh. is he? God! Damn it. I could never even get eyes on him. Yes, MG, I love Amnesia. I watch the anime too. Shark sounds cool, so there you go. We just immediately have a split of opinion. No, no. What is Tommy saying no, no to? So you fell right with him. You could have, like, hit him and stuff. Do not do anything Bible Black on stream. Okay, cool. You will be banned. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have, I don't think, Bible Black. Amnesia's different. You're trolling. Hobby be trolling. I've, I've forgotten how to play the game. I'm doing, I don't know what the hell just happened. <laughs> it's bootleg Hong Kong, Henry. You know what? That wouldn't be too bad. It was a joke. All right, Cobby. I get it was a joke. I get it, all right? I feel like a fucking old parent or something. All right, okay, you kids, with your Bible whack. Since he one-shots you anyways, you might as well get naked for the better roll. Yeah, that is true. If you're not gonna shield against him. Smart. Um, and he's one-shotting you. You might as well just naked it up. But honestly, I'm starting to feel like you should come back and fight this guy later. All right, we'll do one naked thing. See if we can get <laughs> Jared it. Jared is more of a daddy, where Henry is more of a frightening uncle. I agree. I think it's definitely like a family thing, as opposed to like a sort of bootlegger's choice, you know? Maybe you need some Jack Daniels. I can use a shot. Yeah. I think so. I don't know if... Whiskey is so weird for me to shoot. Like, it is so 50-50 for me. I mean, I... I feel like... I'm anti-shot, I feel like every other, every other shot of whiskey I have, I love. And then every other one, I'm like, I'm going to throw up now in front mm -hmm. of everyone. Hold on, I was watching stream right before my job interview a while ago. And now I'm watching stream at work. How full circle, am I right? That's amazing. How's work going for you? How's the new job? At this point, it's not new new, is it? I guess it is. Yeah, you got that pretty recently. All right, can we? are we gonna call this last attempt? Try last the attempt. Try the roll. 
Because again, you're not even, you know, <laughs> slow as fuck. Okay. I mean, is that good or bad? Slow. That feels I feel way like slow faster. Is really bad. No, 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 no. Um, I think he's talking about work, not about your. Oh, work. sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have only one mind. Honey Jack is pretty good. Yeah, I don't have Honey Jack. I sh that's what I should have gotten. I should have gotten Honey Jack. We wanted something like a little warming and the, you know, we, we have this like, Jeff and Lindsay got us this hot cocoa. Oh, that's uh, nice. And peppermint schnapps. And we were like, I bet bourbon would be good in this hot cocoa. So we got, I just picked up some Jack, which is Jack bourbon technically. Uh, it's like just Kentucky whiskey. Uh -huh. Oh, whatever. I got that to kind of do that. And it was nice, but I have a little left from yesterday. Just got a little bit of it. I really don't fuck with whiskey much at all, or really, outside of Japanese dating sims, like liquor at all. It just so happens I somehow built a show around it, so that is my curse. Kind of good because it's easy, but kind of lame because I would rather be doing nothing at home. I know, right? Get him. That's when you wanted to backstab, by the way. You like glitched out. That was weird. Sure, you don't want to heal? I guess it doesn't matter because it one shoots you, shot you. Is that the, the idea? Yeah. God, it is much better. Yeah. True. Well, I like beer and wine, but um, just not a big liquor drinker. And even wine, the rose is like I'll probably win. once Japanese is like what, however it would be done is done. I will probably never drink rose again for the rest of my fucking life. <laughs> this is just killing my taste for rose. This show. I should like change my signature up to like a fucking daiquiri or some shit, just to switch it up. Some of these beer and wine are too slow. That's what I like about them. I don't like anything that's too fast. I like to just relax. You know, I don't like to be. I'm not a. You know, I don't really like party anymore. I'm just kind of chill. The fuck do I cook stuff in Breath of the Wild? Okay, so you gotta put all the food in your hands or whatever. You gotta like, um. Uh, pick up the food or whatever and then and then go out of your pause menu i think you equip it says something like there's a hover over the food and there's a pit x or something and it'll like put the food in your hand you put it on the hand and then you walk over to the little cooking plate that's like by the tent and it'll it'll give you a prompt to toss it all in and then it should automatically do it i can't remember if you have to like light it or not i think it's already lit all right. All right, let's just get out of here. And the pizza's here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Sorry, guys. I really tried to do it for you. Just couldn't get it done. Can't stop there. I've totally lost what game you guys are talking about. Oh, that was so infuriating. Oh my god. Uh, okay, are you holding? What game are you guys talking about in this here chat stream? Uh, Breath of the Wild. Oh, I Zelda. need to get Zelda. Zelda. I need to get a. It is so good. I need to get a Switch. I guess so. I I, I want I do I want one just for um, Mario Odyssey, but it's just not enough. Yeah. It's not enough. Of a reason to get a Thank you, Shep Bop. Don't worry, Havel is a badass. I, I just felt like I had it for a second, for one, for one second, and then I didn't. Yeah. Havel's for real, no worries. Yeah, I think you gotta go back. I, I think he's only beatable at that stage someone who's like played the game before, you know? Shouldn't have come in here yet. And even then, he's so hard. Screw it, I'm buying a switch. There I'll you go. I'm gonna just keep the I'll just talk over to your mic so it doesn't pick up on the slow things. Two 
chew into the mic, please? The sullen silence. Disappointment. <laughs> Jared, please. It's fine. It's fine. The problem with that situation is you literally can't make a single mistake. I know, but now I'm getting sloppy because I'm patient. <laughs> you thoroughly tilted. Yeah. It's fine. Ah, just gotta relax. Really, Tommy? You can play it on PC? That's crazy. Where am I? Oh, is it with like a dolphin or whatever? Um. What was I gonna say? I don't know, man. You're fine. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like it's Tommy's fault. He's the one who told you to go try Havel again. I don't even think I was thinking about you doing that. It's better to come back because you'll end up back by Havel, like um, not too too long from now. All right, yeah, a Tommy. Little more, a little more leveled up, a little more <laughs> prepared. Although I have to say, this specific goon is my least favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, so I've never hated another enemy in a game <laughs> more than this one guy. At least I respect him. Right. <laughs> yeah, you can't hate Havel, man. Havel's the best. Havel's amazing, man. Everyone loves Havel. It's such a unique and great moment in this series, the first encounter with Havel. Because you're like, he's not Looking a around, yeah. yeah. He's not a boss. He's not a regular enemy. He's downstairs in this thing that you can only open. Like, you wouldn't encounter him then unless you had gotten the master key. Right. As your opening gift. So, like, he's just down there. He's after this long gauntlet of people, but instead of going up to the boss, you chose to go down to this, like, enemy that's way harder than the boss. Well, because also any RPG <laughs> player, like, my instinct in any game I play is, like, down first. Uh, well, assess what looks like the way forward and, and then, then backtrack. Go to the side. Yeah. Sometimes this game punishes you, in a sense, for, for doing For playing that. video games. <laughs> yeah, for even picking the controller up. Five other brews says, Chad, I'm considering buying Witcher 3, but I'm hesitating. Is as good as everyone says? Yes. So I get just... It. Absolutely I just it. started Witcher 3, like, three days ago. And honestly, the first day I played it, I wasn't sure. And then by the second day, I'm, like, hooked, and it's really all I'm thinking about. So why I'm doing so poorly right now is because I'm just thinking Witcher 3, Witcher 3, Witcher 3 <laughs> in my brain. Um, come on. Come on. Uh, it's really cool. It's very intimidating at first. Uh, but just trust it and go with it. And I tried Witcher 2, and I couldn't get through it. Like, I just got so... Yeah, I have uh, Witcher 2. I've always wanted to play it just because of how great Witcher 3 is. But Maybe going back, and I know some people did that with Mass Effect. Like, John, I know, played Mass Effect 2 before he could get into 1. Mm -hmm. That would have driven me insane, personally. Right. But Witcher might be one that's good for that. Yeah, Let's... didn't he do 2, 1, 3? He did 2, and then he went back and did 1, 2, 3. Mm. What's kick again? Yeah. Good, I'm glad it didn't work there. Oh. You have ten Estes, you're fine. Just <laughs> this next area can really be a fucker if you let it. Alright, one more of these and then I can think straight. Oh, and then I got a drink! That's wine or something. That sounds a okay. Yeah, what do you want? I just heard one. way up here little shambling dumbass wait for you what about trying to sprint past the dragon yeah we've done what are you talking about are you just suggesting challenges <laughs> <laughs> all right um this is nowhere is, uh, yeah head down i'll just show you the way forward you can drop down there you go that's the way forward
Yeah, you tried to trick me. And it worked. It super worked. <laughs> Guys, trying to find a mini NES. Where can I find the little fuckers? I don't think they're uh, making more of those yet, but they should be making them later this year. I can't wait because I'm going to send one to my brother. Oh, those little guys? Yeah, the NES minis, not the SNES minis. If you want to find me, minis, I think you can get still. The NES minis, they did announce they are going to be making more of those. But right now, unless you want to pay like hundreds of dollars for one, you got to wait. If they make one for Sega Genesis, that's where you'll find me. Yeah. Tiny controller. That's what this game reminds me of, and it's why I have a love hate with it because, like, I. Reminds you of Genesis games. Genesis was just my system growing up. I had an NES. Same, same here, by the way. Yep. Um, but I definitely... Genesis was the one that I, like, you know, grinded my teeth on. Mystery key. And this does. It reminds me of old school video gaming, which was unforgiving. And I... Mm -hmm. Like, I always struggled with it. Mm -hmm. Keep it here. Like, because I would say I was into video games as a kid. Like, I definitely played them. I played Zelda. I played... Um, Sonic was probably my main. Heal up. Is there a tricky little area and you're, you're doing all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the first people were pissed. They, they, they just stopped making NES minis. And everyone was like, what? Everybody wanted one, and then they finally announced, like, oh, these are so popular, we should probably make some more, so we're going to make some more. Aren't they knockoffs, NES though? Like, no, no, no. They're, They're it's official? Nintendo sanctioned. All right. Yeah. That's why people like them so much. Um, yeah, you can get certain kinds of bullshitty ones, but that one's just, like, legit. And I mean, a lot of the people who want them, like, I could get an emulator and just have all that shit, you know? So the people who want them are, are people who are like my brother, who just wants to be able to plug it in and just, it, it looks like the system he had, yeah. you know? And you can just, like, plug and play. All right, new area. New enemy. So backstab is just, just hold down R1, not forward. No. Nothing. Just stand there and hit R1. We have to target him first. Get me closer. Try to stealth him. <laughs> Maybe he's melting under your fucking Drake sword, though. That was satisfying. <laughs> Even if it's not that tough, it was satisfying to kill something. Okay, that's so the Sega console that was released this past year has eighty one had eighty one games on it. That system fucking sucks. Alright, Dasso, everything about it is bad. It's made with bad hardware, it's a cheap knockoff. Um, all of the games are like shovelware bullshit games, like most of them. And the ones that are the real deal, like Sonic and shit, play horribly. They don't they don't they're the controls are all fucked up. It's terrible emulations of the game. That's why the Nintendo Super Nintendo Mini, people love them so much because they're like sanctioned and they're good ports and they feel good and yada yada yada, even though it's still kind of silly. But be careful with the shit that you get. Yeah, heal. Be careful. Thank you, Dr. Smoothrod. Be careful the shit that you get out there. A lot of it's that bootleg trash and, that, and then you take it home and it looks weird and the sound is off and it, it has bad sh floaty controls and all that shit. So... That's the problem with getting those, like, kind of boot-like things. I am slow. Is this shield, like, super heavy? Yeah, I think so. I think you were heavy rolling. Oh, what's happening, Lock Monster? Right, what's weight? My own mic what's, again. what's weight on these? Right there, all the way to the right. So that's oh, yeah, this is way heavier. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we're going to get you more endurance and, honestly, Havel's ring when you can kill him. Would have been a sweet prize. Yeah, for sure. Because then you can wield... The boar's helm is really heavy too, I think, so you might be able to switch out the boar's helm for something else and then wield that shield. I like the boar's helm. Congrats helmet. on the boar's head helmet. It's a random drop, I, right? Looking snazzy with that thing. Oh. 
I should have known. At first, I thought you yeah. were playing that right because you like were looking around. I thought, and then I was like, I bet there's a guy behind me, and then I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's totally fashion. It's got good defense properties though too. That's gonna set me right. That's gonna get my head right where it needs to be. <laughs> a little vino, huh? Cheers. Cheers, buddy. This has been great. Cheers. First, first day of, of Solzen. If you can get us to this uh, bonfire in the next like 15 minutes, um, that'll be a solid fucking cap. I think we'll be clinched for that. And what's cool about this bonfire is a fucking blacksmith lives right below it, so you can start upgrading weapons and shit, which is good. Cool. This is the other side of the, yeah, gate. Wow, he just saw me real quick. Well, as long as he didn't aggro his boys, then he might be all right. That's right, Lock Monster. Monster. By the way, we're not, trying not to tell Jared too much about what's going on. I'm trying to bite my tongue oh, with certain things. Wait. And already doing... Yep, that's totally a guy. And already uh, doing too much with that. Anything that can be targeted is a guy. But um, I am, of course, doing a poor job of that. I don't think so. Was this where the boar was? Yeah. All right. So it just kind of opens up. Now. Yeah. So even now, you technically open the shortcut... You know, but we sure. still we want to get you to the next bonfire. But I don't think I want to go in there. There's just two different by routes. Left audible or right. grunt that uh, you just made. See, that's the thing. <laughs> I give away too much. That would have been a no. Wacky, I could have told anyway. That guy came barreling. That would have been a wacky ass fucking route to take, man. I'll just say that. I'll just say that. That building is a little wacky. But is there a guy? Oh, oh. Two men and a and an archer. Ooh. Nice, dude. Oh. <laughs> Archer. Cool. Yeah, good work using that. I was just playing Dark Souls 3 earlier today. Fuck yeah, man. Snape totally kills Dumbledore. We're just doing spoilers. It's hard to hold back the excitement when you know the story movie game. I know, right? You're going to get the HD remaster if it comes out of what? Of Dark Souls? Um, I'll get whatever, man. I'll buy everything. What am I going to get? Of Dark Souls 1? Yeah, I guess I would. I mean, I feel like when would that come out? I would rather them do that with uh, Demon Souls. I'm surprised they the haven't. I, of course, I would get the HD remaster of Is Dark Souls. Is that a blacksmith I hear? I do hope they... they I would way prefer they make a remaster. Congratulations. You made it to the bonfire. Um, and we still even have just a little bit of time. Why don't we uh, talk to this blacksmith? I don't think you can upgrade your Drake. Yeah, you can go out that way if you want. You can do all sorts of shit. <coughs> I would so love to do a... Demon Souls remaster. That would be so. This great. guy looks way cooler than the last. Oh, I guess the last well, guy was a merchant, not a blacksmith. Must be a new yeah. Arrival. But this guy Andre rules. Of Astora. Andre of Astora. He's, he's awesome. Okay, so um, modify, reinforce. So you need an ember to do that. To ascend it, that gives it properties like lightning and shit like that. Reinforce anything. Go to go back to reinforce though. Okay, so.
So what you need is you have enough souls, but you don't have any Titanite shards. You don't have any Titanite shards. You can buy a Titanite. I thought shards. I got some shards. Hover over little... the Drake sword. Scroll down one. Didn't I get? I killed See, the oh, Drake sword. Oh, she's a man, baby. You'll lose number. Thank you for the sub. For the Drake sword, yeah. you need a dragon scale, which is a much more rare item. Okay. okay? Um, but these other ones, they need just Titanite scales, which you are uh, uh, right. Titanite scale, I believe. You have, you can buy some from him. Um, the other thing you could do is you could upgrade the uh, uh, shield. Yes, I know they are shutting down their servers in February. Um, what the fuck was I gonna say? I don't know. Uh, I would say Titanite scales and shards. Yeah. I thought I got a Titanite. You shard. got chunks. You got, but which is like a way uh, more intense. Okay. But you don't really need it, you know. Um, see, so you can buy shards. I don't know if you need them. See what else you can buy. Go to purchase and see what else you can get. Okay, so Crest of Artorius you're going to want to get eventually. Maybe you might want to go ahead and buy the Weapon Smith box. Yeah, you got chunks, which is like a way more rare item because you killed the Black Knight. Um, sort of. I don't think you need it just yet, the smith box. All right. But you will want to get that eventually. And then just some basic weapons and arrows. I don't understand like how that. anybody ever played this game without someone who already <laughs> knew how to play the game. <laughs> uh, you would just spend a lot more time looking at shit. I mean, this game came out when the internet was a thing. So at, at, there's yeah. no, at no point was there a lack of information, uh, except for the very beginning when it first, first came out. But... Yeah, the fucker of this game, too, is just that, that if you don't know anything, you could easily put yourself in a situation where you ha you are just stuck. You're you fucked. Completely yeah, restart forever. The game. Okay, you sat at the bonfire. Why don't we level up? It's just good that he's there. It, once you get a dragon skill, you can upgrade that. And once we get the Zweihander, which we will be getting soon, you can start upgrading that. So that when you are ready to wield it, put points into resistance i would put points into you could if you wanted what does that do that gives you defense yeah it's a good one i think um strength is really good for you do not put points in resistance it's useless oh okay yeah i was about to say i was like why resistance all right okay. do vitality uh it's endurance or strength like you like as you know so you only have one to do vitality health this is stamina and this is power right yeah strength at 20 is gonna be great yeah it's not a big deal as long as you're putting points in all of them you're mm -hmm. fine yeah i'll all need right. to do vitality next but go into your um this is another bonfire you're gonna want to kindle by the way what is kindling about so reverse Kindle while well hollow. Uh, reverse hollowing. Kindling allows you so that when you when you rest, you get you'll refill the ten Estus instead of five. Okay, so it's and like this bonfire and the other bonfire mm -hmm. or like are major two like hub hubs. bonfires that you just you want gonna wanna. So you reverse. I think you're gonna have to go eat a humanity right now. What's up, Erotic Nutella? How you doing? Getting ready for a Japanese dating sims coming up here in about 25 minutos. We're just gonna like level this shit up. We're gonna go fight the, um, I can't remember the name of this demon. We're gonna fight a demon. You're probably gonna die, and then we're gonna end the day. Perfect. All right, do that. You already leveled, right? So I went to the liquor store to get wine. I was painting before I left, and I forgot I had paint all over my face. Before probably leaving. panting. Fantastic. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> all, right. all right, head down the stairs. Actually, yeah, you wanna run out here for a second? It's a dude you can talk to. This is a gate that I will just go ahead and say, this is an area you're coming to later. This is the entrance to Sin's Fortress, which okay. is an area I think you've heard about before. But I've here's the me. Onion Knight. Yay! This is the Look first, at him. first meeting with the Onion Knight. Not the Game of Thrones Onion Knight. No, separate Onion Knight. Is he really the called the OG Onion Knight? The Onion Knight. Yeah, people call him the Onion Knight. But I think he refers his... to himself as the Onion Knight, too. He does so in Dark Souls uh, 3, mm. for sure. How excited are you? The Jackie's coming over. Cammy, unfortunately, Jackie got snowed out of New York. She actually was... You cannot get to New York. <laughs> she cannot get here, nor can Ed. They're coming in um, next week now. 
We will still record new episodes of Roundtable. We will still have Jackie in the flesh for um, uh, Jackie's Dating Sims, but we will not have her tonight. But she will be here via video chat. So, Erotic Michelle, God damn it, New York. Jackie's Our thoughts prevails. every day. Absolutely. All right, head on down. <laughs> yeah, she'll definitely be here, though. Maybe add two. I'm gonna get, get add as well. That would be fun. All right. Oh, what the fuck What's are this you? This guy. I love this fucking. This is like a mini boss, like not a real boss. He's just. It's just a. He's just go fuck here. yourself. Yeah. What's cool too is you now have like a few branching paths you can take if you want. Oh, for, his design for, uh, this is, is a really good. Whoa! Bitch. Super cool, right? This is. A, this is. Um, a really cool, great place to stop because there's like different routes you can go. There's like this is kind of the next like section of the game, truly. Um, you can go back into that big building. There's a bunch of shit in there. You can go and um, you can go out this room, and there's like a big crazy forest. So you can go fucking prove everybody wrong about you and fucking beat Havel. Like you can do everything, you know, from here. I find to get more. I find you get more exploration exploration options in Dark Souls One than two or three. Yes, two or two and three are more linear. Dark Souls One, I feel like, has a the cool Dark Souls One definitely wins for best map by far of any of the Dark Souls. It is the coolest, most intricate, intertwining map I've ever played. It is literally maybe the best map world map of any game uh, uh, ever. It's like Dark Souls One, fucking Link to the Past. I don't know. Something like that. Name me a better map in a game. I want to hear it. Doing pretty good at against this dude, dude. Get up in his fucking shit. Just gotta hit him. He's already halfway down. Yarnum, yeah, Yarnum's pretty sweet. Yarnum also has a really cool intricate, intricate. It's still more linear. But Yarnum is pretty badass. It's just, just, just the opening area is great. I guess this gets slightly oh, as well. Damn. Got close. Damn, really felt good about how that was I going. Know, right? All right. Well, All I think right. that's where we're gonna call it. Thanks, everybody. We'll be back in 20 minutes, 23 minutes to be exact. Thanks, y'all. Dating Sims. We're gonna take a little break, stop the stream, eat. Uh, you know, check in with our bullshit. Get the stream going with Jack. Jackie and come right back 6 p.m. Uh, for Jack and these dating sims. Thank you again, Jared, for joining. Thank us. you for having me. So thank you for fun. Thank you for coming along with this uh, infuriating journey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it is Woo! just begun. I know. I don't even know what it, it is. It's just yet. begun. Mm. I, what, and what's uh, what's almost like bugging me a little bit is that we still have not gotten past where you've already been. So we're gonna do I that mean, to, uh, next week, hopefully. I think we've proven where I've already been is mm. uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Sweat stains. Yep, that's what you said. <laughs> um, uh, all right, and that controller is dripping. <laughs> well, 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 well. Don't read any playthroughs, says Lock Monster. No, no, no. He will no, be doing this as blind. No cheat. The blind leading the blind. That's what's going on here. All right, everybody. We'll see you real soon. Uh, literally 20 minutes. Have a good one. Thanks for joining us. Have a good from Friday. Believe in yourselves. Yup.